Hello everyone, we are back once more for Raiders of the Serpent Sea. We're on uh, episode 8 already. Uh, how how <laughs> how time flies as we've been moving through. Uh, we've been, been off for a couple of weeks, but we are back and hopefully we will all be okay with this. So I will start the monologue and then we will crack on. The tear-dropped island of Felagar was renowned for its natural beauty in the region with green meadows and the almost pure marble foundation upon which the elegant hometown of the Orn was constructed. Owing to its location on the Serpent Sea, it was a valuable port and training town, with goods flowing to and from numerous clans and even to the Bendor. The long winter had reduced the island's visitors, but it was still an active port. At the island's high point, the Orn built a fortress to stand guard over the town below. The northern shore rises into an impressive promontory still visible through the persistent haze and smoke from the smouldering volcano that has now destroyed Felagar. The city is now buried, except for a small pieces poking through layers of hardened lava. Previously on Raiders of the Serpent Sea, Last time the party made their way to the island of Felagar by ship, after more attacks from the War clan. Arriving after a volcanic eruption, they found oddly Lutan clan members on the shores, and when they tried to question them they were attacked. Once these were dealt with, the party freed an elven woman who had been hung upside down from a statue nearby. She thanked them with information, telling the party about the constant banging and digging that had been going on. Inside one of the tents, they now find a tunnel leading down into the rock and maybe some parts of the city below. And yes, this is exactly where we uh, arrived to at the end of the session last time, guys. We were, yes, you just revealed the tunnel leading down into the hardened lava that was going on. You had freed um, uh, the woman, I believe her name was uh, Halfred, and uh, she is uh, with you guys at the moment. She obviously told you uh, bits and bobs about what was going on below. She has also given you a very rough map of some of the layout around here. Now you're going to have to do a best guess of judging what some of that means and where it uh, where it all fits in, because obviously it's all going to be uh, tunnels and bits covered in lava, from what you understand, and. Um, I believe the way I'm going to play this is that you guys, uh, some of you have been able to look round in the tents, etc., before heading down into this tunnel. And uh, so, in that in that sort of idea, I'm going to say that you guys have found uh, two small rubies worth 25 gold pieces each. And I want someone to do me uh, an investigation check roll, please, just to see if you uh, got something a little more. A little more than that. Who uh, who do you think would be running around doing most of that kind of thing? Zeus is probably the best at investigation, I would assume. Um, yeah, I mean, if she's being observant and you think she would be one of the ones running around doing, possibly doing that sort of thing, absolutely, you can make the role. Yeah, well, if Haralf had mentioned her wanting to do this, then he, she would, so. Yeah, he would certainly want people uh, scanning the area for as much as you can find. I mean, one of the key things you're looking for on the island, um, it's not like you're expecting it to be in amongst the scavenger stuff, is obviously a banner of the Volve uh, or uh, or another clan that that makes that makes sense for actually being able to have a banner for the ship. So there is, uh, yeah, there is things you're looking for in that case. But yes, you can definitely make that roll and uh, see how it goes. Come on. Yeah, no, no. I knew it. I knew it too. I felt it in my bones. <laughs> yeah, no, no. Starting starting off uh starting off light. Um so yeah, the only thing you do find is uh there are a bunch of um bedrolls and a few sort of personal supplies around. And uh in amongst things you find about fifteen silver pieces and five gold pieces uh in amongst all of this um searching that's going on at the uh at the time on that front. Okay, I give those directly to Harulf. No problem. Yep, he uh, he he will put it into the uh, into the into the coin. That's no problem on that front. Uh, you guys are obviously aware that there are now uh, two ships, uh, including your own. Uh, that is uh, that is, that is out actually out here at the moment. You know that Halfred, the woman that uh, you guys had freed, was trying to um, steal one, and for her efforts, they had. Uh, 
the Lutan clan had, uh, had uh, strung her up. You're also very aware as well from Baldor and a few others that something um, very wrong was going on with some of these bodies um, or these people, if that or shall we say, from the from the Lutan clan. Um, you're yeah, you haven't gotten to the the bottom of that yet, but you know there were certain certain things to some of you were said, and uh, yeah, that's definitely all true. But um, old. Baldur is still like sitting somewhere traumatized after killing his his former clanmates uh, last week. So, yeah, he isn't saying much. Mm, fair enough. Yeah, he's been very uh, very quiet since uh, since that uh, since that incident. That is definitely true. Also, we uh, we lost Jamie. I think. Yeah, man uh, down. Man down on that front. Well, hopefully, uh, yeah, Jamie's dealing with uh, internet uh, internet issues tonight, so we'll see if uh, we'll see if he can get back in on that one. I don't know if he uh, if people can watch out for us, see if there is a message that comes through from him. Um, but we we shall see how he uh, see how he gets on. He may have to try he may have to try from his phone. We'll uh, we'll see how it goes on that front. But um, yeah, we knew uh, we knew his uh, connection would be. Uh, problematic tonight so we'll see how uh see how it gets on um so you said we searched all of these tents right can we just open up all these doors then uh absolutely you can yeah yeah we can definitely uh definitely do a bit of that just so you get a sense of uh what's going on in some of the rooms there's some rations around and things like that that you've certainly spotted but uh yeah no, no overly interesting pieces would be the uh uh the main thing on that front um obviously halfred is this woman that that, that you've saved is um Obviously, not at the in the best of health from what's going on, from uh, from what what's gone on where they literally nailed her to this statue and things like that. So that's not been great. Uh, however, she is very very grateful. And um, um, so with me uh, creating a sort of map for you guys, I'm assuming you're thinking of going down into the what's left down there. She's looking at you all quizzically. We are in search of a banner of the Volve. We are on business of the utmost importance for them, but we lost our ship, and the one we have now is bannerless. Do you know where we can find one? Um, I wouldn't know exactly where one would be, but it probably in one of the main halls would be where I would suggest. I mean, they would be kept special, uh, um, the Orn do have um, some political power down there, I, and she does point to something on the map that she says is sort of like the main halls of um, uh, for the for the Orn that are down there. If that makes sense, this uh, the Orn being the clan that sort of uh, runs this uh, this city or did and, until it was uh, was taken out. Um, I'd be very grateful if uh, if you do find anyone down there and like and help them in the way you have with me. I'm very thankful for that and um i, I don't know if i could ask a, another smaller favor if possible depends um i'm uh i kind of um there's my sh shop and my tools are down there if, um i'm sort of uh and they've sort of some fairly the family heirlooms i mean if you could if you do find my shop if it's still in one piece it would be um i, I would be very grateful if you would be able to find my tools i just don't want them to be destroyed they're yeah they're they're important to my family we can definitely try that out for you that's that's all i ask i don't yeah like i said if you if you do find my shop down there uh, and she sort of points in a general area again down there, which I'll I'll point out when uh, on the map as as you go on that front. Do we what notice? Is... Yeah, go, go ahead. ahead. No, go ahead. No, I I think you're asking oh, the same no. question. I was gonna. Uh, 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 Zisa was just gonna ask, "What is your trade?" Uh, I uh, I'm, I'm I'm I work in wood woodsmithing. Um, I'm I I do work a little bit with ships, but uh, mainly like um, f uh, the figureheads and things like that. I. Uh, I'm, I'm I'm pretty good at that. Not a warrior so much, but I'm I'm good at carving. But you could also repair, if needed. 
I've been known to be able to do repairs. Yes, yeah. I, I give Harolf a, a, a nod. Yeah, but he's he's already thinking this woman might be might be handy on that front. Hmm. And then uh, Harolf is already starting to look out at the um, at the other ships uh, that, that that are docked here, and he says, um, "Lutan clan tend to um, tend to make their ships pretty good. I'm wondering, uh, I'm wondering if we take one of these instead. Hmm. It's if that is what you wish." We would have to move the crew from one to the other along with the supplies. We can start that now if you want to return to the ship and let them know. Would you be willing to take the rest of them down and see what you can find for a bit if I get the the people up here in an order and we see if we can not pick the best of the ships and maybe uh, at least semi-scuttle the others for now? If that is what you wish. Hmm. It might work that way. I'm intrigued to see what else I can find on the ships as well. But um, if you need me, I'll um, yeah, I'll hollow down. I'm Is so Sadiq with us or no? Shit. Yeah, or, uh, <laughs> let him let him know. Does, <laughs> no, Hoda, does Hoda really care? Hoda doesn't, but Jess really wants to stay <laughs> on the raving ship. Ah. <laughs> what about Raudel's masterpiece? Yeah, Hello, Raudel, right? defend it, defend it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, these 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 are the part these are the party choices, I mean, aren't they? I Rada thinks we should take both. Like we need a fleet, not just one. That's true. Mm, if we that, can get that some is more true. people down. That is true. We are we would be too light as a, as the group we currently are to be uh to running more than one ship. But if there are more survivors and we mm, and he, yeah, 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 uh Rolf does not seem uh uh, you know, out, out taken aback by that uh, that possibility, if that makes sense. So yeah, if there are more survivors or uh, or people that might be of use for that uh, that possibility, they're gonna want out, they're gonna want out just as much as uh, just as much as anyone else. And uh, well, I guess it's gonna all be down to what you find. We'll start the process anyway of working out which ones are the better ones and get situated. I can't remember. Is Sidi with us or is she back on the ship? I think you guys at least I I think you were of the opinion that you wouldn't leave her behind or I can't recall. She can stay with her Rolf, I think, mm. if he doesn't want to come down. She does have that healing ability I know, though. Mm. But do we want to take a child <laughs> into <laughs> what could be a mass slaughter? Yeah, these, 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 a these, child that can heal. <laughs> yeah, the, this, these these are these are the party choices. I mean, she is there. You know she has she has, well. she has a she has got a companion action uh, that 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 you do you are aware of that uh, she can she can do that. Um, yep, yeah, this is uh, this is Viking territory. There, uh, um, you know, she can be kept guarded in, in that respect, or as good as you can. It's up to you guys. Do you put them? Do you put her at risk? I I do have a cure wounds. I have so, multiple healing. We do have the potential to heal without putting a child in danger because I know Hoda wouldn't want the child put in danger necessarily. Um, and so even if we didn't have any healing abilities, Hoda would say no to the child being put at risk. But also, last time we left the ship on its own, it got set on fire. So I feel that she's going to be in danger no matter where we put her. It's not Harolf. I mean, Harolf is pretty... True. Not to metagame, but when I was finding a safe harbor, I did roll a natural one. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Ah, yeah, so they're they're not going back to that ship. They're going to these ships. So yeah. here's, here's, here's hoping that that is enough. Because, holy yeah. crow, I, that hurt my heart when I rolled that. <laughs> yeah, um, no, no, also, it does, does Do we know that City can, can do what she does? Or do, had we had to have seen it? Uh, I yeah, think it hasn't happened yet. Yeah, I don't think it's happened. Yeah, we haven't used it yet. No, no. Okay. I, I think it, it, thematically, it's like you know it can happen, but um, yeah, you've not. Uh, yeah, you, you 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 don't. Yeah, you haven't seen it happen in uh, from your character's perspective, if that makes sense. Okay, uh, Z says as long as she didn't get in the way, I would not care one way or the other, and would say as much. Okay. So what about the rest? Yes, I mean Hodo is definitely against it. 
Zisa doesn't care. Mm. What about uh, Frida was a bit bit on Frida, the... Frida has seen war as a child and seen a lot of slaughtering. So she is not Builds happy character. if she comes. Yeah, <laughs> Fair enough. It fair does enough. not build character. It scars the character. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so yeah, it's sounding uh, more and more like this is a, that's a couple of votes that way. Um, so I'm gonna gonna say it's probably that uh, yeah yeah she steps off with Herolf and uh, they will be uh, looking after and figuring out the ships with uh, the crew you've got and in hopes that you may find may may find more below and and kind of go from there on that front. Um, Whilst everyone's been doing their thing and talking, I have been taking bones that have intrigued me from this skeleton i am next to to put into my collection of bones okay okay uh interestingly uh hodor as you're as you're actually doing that and you start to uh maybe pull at the clothing a little bit and move yeah. things back uh oddly uh next to that uh next to that body there there are um odd signs of um wood or metal um scarring into the into the body of of, of the skeleton as in like a prosthetic as, as in like something that shouldn't be there like um you, th- you almost uh, thought it was a tattoo for a moment of some like okay. uh, wrapped wood around the round the arms um but it is actually there are remnants of um iron wood uh, sort of wrapped around and and digging into what's left of the bones and and bits there. Okay, well, I'd definitely take at least an arm bone that has these weird things in them to add to my collection. Okay. Um, and yeah, um, I'd also take two ribs randomly, but um, I would. What kind of check do you think this would be? Uh, what are you looking for to ha- to find specific well, bones? Or? Why? Well, no. Why are these things in? The ah, bone? okay. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah. You can make um, you can make a medicine check if you want to sort of work out what they what was going on that way, or you can do an arcana if you feel that you want to try on a more magical front. And there is also a history check as well if you want. No, but you can only pick one of the three. Uh, one of those three options has more chance of, than the others of. Uh, Pulling it off, but yeah, you you uh, you don't know which one it would be. Because I have bone magic, mm-hmm. I think it would be in Hoda's. <laughs> <laughs> um, Hoda would Hoda would connect bones and magic, and therefore would do an Arcana. Look at it. Okay. Yep. Yeah, fair enough. And not just because I'm in Oh, boom. Yeah. Welcome to the boom zone. Um, oh no! Oh no! Is that what that means? Is that what that means? It, it's going wrong early. That. It's going wrong early on that front. Oh, no. um, with a twenty, you are pretty sure that um, um, whatever that is, whatever's going on with that, is certainly definitely magical, and. You think you've heard of Ironwood before, and that's usually li- linked with stories of I- the Ironwood witches. And yeah, that's um, yeah, that's usually not a good sign. Um, maybe that has something to do with some of what's going on here with them acting strangely. You have to assume that some of this might be going on. Okay. Well. I would definitely pocket that. I'm assuming it's like a fever or something, so I will pocket that. Um, and probably how, I'll. How so, do you pocket a fever? <laughs> when you have a giant cloak with the big. When you have bone magic, okay, it. Do anything. Bone magic. You bone just folds it in half. Do you not think? Zone. Hold on, went on this journey <laughs> thinking I am going to collect Is as many bones as possible. Is that what Hodor calls his bag? The bone zone. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, Hoda would have no idea, would never link the two. <laughs> Hoda would never link the two. My he God. Was too, yeah. too innocent of boy. Yeah, but, ba- um, ba- bags of holding will, with, with those names are uh, yeah, a do whole different world. Do we see Hoda collecting bones? Um, like, are you doing this in secret or do we just. Well, 
No, because I, mean, I think you've seen me rip teeth out of the dead yeah. before. Okay, okay, fair. That's fair. It's just what? that, like, this guy's been dead for a while, so I can get, I have access at, like, ribs and stuff, which I don't normally get access to, so. Teeth are just the easiest bones to take. Fair enough. Since fair Zisa enough. sees you doing this, uh, she's gonna just, like, walk up to you and say, hold her, a word. Uh, yeah, sure. Um, there's something here I'd probably talk to you about. I don't think you'd be the most useful, but, uh, yeah, sure. Uh, okay. Um, on our first voyage, uh, where we found City, um, I actually found something that I thought I could make use of that I actually believe you could utilize better. And I pull out the runic bone fingers that mm. I, um, found. I know that this could be used as, a uh, focus or as a component to spells, uh, augury comes to mind, but I don't intend on learning that. I do not know if you are familiar, or if you could utilize these more, but they should go to you, judging by what you do. And I just kind of hold I them out to you. I don't know how well Zisa picks up on this, generally, with people, but this is probably the happiest you've ever seen Hodor in his life. <laughs> as long as you've known him, he is excited. He's been given a wonderful gift in his mind. And he will, he will, he will thank you wholeheartedly and take it very like delicately and with great care from your hands. There is no need to thank me. As I said, I believe you could utilize them better. And as you have abilities that pertain to bones that will make you more capable, and thus help us complete our mission. Well, regardless, it's it is a magnificent thing. And he's like peering at it like excitedly. They are ably made, yes. So, um, on my sheet, I had runic bone fingers, which can be used to cast augury, because I know the material components are like, uh, um, uh, not bones, but what are the, what's another word for bones? Help me out. Uh, the stuff that tusks are made of. Ivory. Ivory, oh, yeah. Yeah, so I think they can double as that. So if you, I don't know if druids get augury, but you now have something for your collection. Nice. There you go. Nice. We've added to I the creepy druids collection. Yeah. Excellent. Excellent. Um, meanwhile, yeah, anything else going on with anyone else? Uh, Baldor, um, how's he doing? Yes, as this is all going on as well. Sitting to the side, traumatized, being uncharacteristically quiet. Fair enough. Fair enough. Anyone else before? Yeah, before we um, move on. Hoda would now that he's kind of got Caesar here, would show her the femur and say, um, it seems to have ironwood embedded in it, and I only know the ironwood witches, which might explain some of the stuff that's been happening here. Uh, can I roll, I guess? I don't know if I'll get better than a 20. Uh, yeah, you uh, you can you can absolutely roll, roll on that one. That's not, not a problem. Believe and achieve. Close. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, you you've definitely heard of the Ironwood witches and the and the Witch King and all of, and all of, all of that jazz that uh, that goes with it. Um, the fact that there's any sort of semblance of something going on with with those sort of witches, etc., is a bad sign. Um, you would definitely take it as an ill omen. Uh, and for some reason, Zisa, there's like a cold nagging when. Um, when she sort of shows you that, and you, you you're shown the uh, you're shown that sort of uh, iron wood for for some reason. Okay. Um. Does this look like a skeleton that like was up and running around recently, or does this look like bones that have like basically decayed and have exposed like this iron wood? Uh, you think that it's sort of um, they would have been prominent on the skin? I mean, it's had time to. Um, decompose a bit but not vast amounts if that makes sense uh on that one but um yeah it's not it's you know it's not that old because if obviously it's on the surface here but obviously because it's hot like been hot lava there's been a lot of um gotcha yeah, yeah. yeah a lot going on shall we say uh, okay. on drying these things out okay it is possible that they could be involved uh, to think that they have the ability to cloud minds is not unheard of. We shall have to 
keep a wary eye. Yeah, there have been stories of all manner of things attributed. Uh, you know, there's folklore of them doing everything and everything in, in between. Uh, even to the point of, I think, I think some of you even heard stories of them where uh, people go missing and uh, return a couple of years later with no memory of what's happened. And it's always like, must be the witches. And there's all manner of, kind of stories like that that have uh, littered through, through the history. Uh, meanwhile, Frida, you've been uh, probably examining the tunnel leading down, or, or uh, what, yeah, what, what has she been up she's to? She's just been sort of staring down at, at the hole. Can can she see the bottom? Is there like a like flame, like a torch flames at the bottom that she can sort of see? Um, you can definitely see there is a little bit of flickering light down there. Um, uh, it's not directly below, but it is certainly mm -hmm. down there somewhere. Um, you can tell that the bottom of the rope is about twenty feet down. Uh, basically, what there is is there's a large iron bar that's been sort of set across this hole, if that makes sense, and then there's a rope tied uh, leading down, if that makes sense. This is the way they've uh, jerry rigged a and in and out of whatever they've been they've been digging, and they must have dug through to something because obviously there's, they're not just at the bottom of the hole digging. So there is obviously something leading off to one side from what you can see. Hmm. Okay, uh, she'll just step to the door and say, Okay, now that you are done uh, <laughs> playing with your bones, um, there is a volcano erupting in the background. Uh, I think we should speed this up a little bit. Agreed. Sorry, I just got a little bit distracted. Yes, with your bones. <laughs> just, just a boy in his bone. <laughs> fair enough fair enough um so yeah you guys do make your way back into the tent you can see the large fashioned sort of tunnel leading down uh who's gonna make the uh, the uh, go, uh go ahead of the rest i guess well, is the first question we'll we'll wait for everyone um mm -hmm. hodor i think you should go get your brother i think uh killing the clansmen might have taken a bit more of a toll on him than it did with you. Uh, Hoda, like... Hoda mumbles something to himself and we, it will be very quiet, so unless people are deliberately trying to hear him, they won't hear what he says. Oh, who's the busy Unless... <laughs> Yes. <laughs> um, yeah. Um, Ziza, you would probably hear Hoda saying, it's not like it's new to him, and we'll walk away. Oh, interesting. All right. I'm going <laughs> to come up to uh, Bola and I go, wait, uh, come on, we've got to go. <clears throat> right. I got... Do you think it's really best to go down there? It's, yes. It's truly dangerous. Um, after what we've done already today, I'm, I'm not sure if it's wise. If you don't go down there now, our clansman's death will have been for nothing. Now, if we come here and we complete what we've done, at least we'll gain something out of this experience. We're part of a group now. You can't be this selfish and cowardly all the time. And we'll walk away. Oof. Okay. And, like, under my breath, I will say, look who's talking about being <laughs> selfish. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Is, uh, is Rowder with us as well, I'm assuming? Of course. Okay, well, Frida will head down then. Okay, no problem. So, yeah, we will uh, slowly but surely move uh, move into the next sort of section here. But, Frida, yeah, you, you slowly pitch down. Um, others can follow after. There is a sort of stable area uh, below. It's easy enough to, uh, to make your way down. Uh, there is... 
I will say significant heat uh, emanating from the walls. It's not enough to be uh, painful per se, but uh, it's certainly, yeah, it's cooling vol volcanic rock as you go. But as you do hit the floor below, you do feel um, wood and texture below uh, beneath your feet. A lot of um, a lot of rubble uh, would be would definitely be also be true, but um, yeah, it seems to descend straight through the crust of lava, and it uh, makes its way down. Uh, you can see below a torch flickers uh, as you see a, a makeshift holder carved into the lava itself, and a half dozen torches have been piled up in different places around as you make your way down. Um, you realise as you get to the bottom that you're in the interior of a building that still stands, more or less intact, despite the lava pressing around it. In several places, however, the walls are bent and burst, uh, fingers of heated rock pooling uh, to form new partial walls, mounds of crumbling volcanic rock cover uh, most of the floorboards here. Uh, someone has carved a passage north of the walls uh, of this sort of whatever lodge this was, and there seems to be more tunnels leading in other areas. And I'll bring you guys through to the map. Hi. Hopefully it should come through for you in a in a moment. One second. Life, it was quite impressive how you managed to get your wolf down the chasm. <laughs> that, that is uh, that is very true. There is definitely uh, definitely a bit of uh, uh, cleverness going on. I'm assuming maybe you tie the do you tie. I wonder if you tie the time off and drop slowly. Slowly descends him down. I reckon that the, the wolf is probably better than most. <laughs> yeah, you, ju you, you just got a stick. You go go on, go on, and throw it in. He goes and he jumps in after it. <laughs> bounding, bounding down the walls better than uh, better than most. Still in manages way. to land on all fours. Zisa is going to come down last, and anybody paying attention will see that she has stepped over the side of the hole, and she's literally crawling the ring style oh. down the side of the wall oh, without using it. the rope. Nope, I hate I'm, it. I'm going to be honest here. <laughs> I probably should roll some sort of athletics for getting down this hole, because this is not Hoda's area of expertise. It, it, it is it is in true on that front. I mean, you can definitely make an... Uh, I was I wasn't going to make, make you all do it on that one, but um you can give me a, an athletics uh strength athletic check if you so wish yes do i wish no do i think it makes sense yes <laughs> mm -hmm. oh is it which one is it <laughs> it is a two okay on that one uh fair enough there is literally a a, a mishap table here uh for for this uh literal circumstance oh, fantastic uh, oh, on that one uh, well, well Rowder, yeah, I'm not counting that because, uh, yeah, I, I only asked for Hodor, so you're, you're you're okay in this one. Um, but in this case, then Hodor, yeah, I need you to roll a, just a straight d20 for me, and we'll see what um, what befalls Hodor on his way down. I can break a bone. <laughs> How poetic would that be? Uh, that'd be great. <laughs> Uh, right, okay, uh, a D on, on a 12, the ground gives way and the character falls, taking 2d6 damage uh, on, the, on the way down, unless you make a DC 14 dexterity to save yourself on the way down. I'll definitely try. <laughs> yeah, you can definitely try. Let's see if you can make the saving throw and uh, on that one, or it's 2d6. Oh, okay. So, uh, yeah. And incoming on that front. And you will be taking f seven points of damage as you uh, as you fall badly, uh, um, giving way on the rope as uh, as this was all going on and landing uh, badly on the uh, on the ground below. Oh, this here, big, big wolf. Fair enough, fair enough. Um, but yes, yeah, you guys, for, for all of you, yeah, by, barring you see him uh, um, fallen on the on the ground, the rest of you have made it down uh, pretty reasonably as this is going on. But uh, yeah, you can see that, uh, yeah, they, people have, someone has carved their way out of this space in in different ways. And uh, yeah, you've got to uh, make make some uh, make some choices, I believe. I, apologies, there is one door missing. This is, uh, gonna, I'm going to add that in. One second, because it should be there. Uh, so yeah, so there there is some sort of a makeshift door that appears to be uh, 
appears to be over on one side. There is also a sort of a breakout space uh, off to uh, more towards the sort of southwest, uh, uh, lower down on the uh, in, uh, these bottom ends of this actual section. Um, but yeah, I, yeah, it seems I, like someone has gone through the cooled volcanic rock and sort of dug their way out. I think someone should put on a torch because I cannot see anything up here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, do I have? Anyone got some magic, or do is there? Uh, is it going to be just a tor torchlight? Mm. Who's who's can doing what? Like uh, oh, I can make a little. Um, I can make. Can I make a little light with spirit craft? Uh, I can just make things set of light small. <laughs> yeah, that's a different thing. But I mean, I think most of you have torches on. So who's who's yeah. who's lighting up? Is the, is going to be the yeah? I'll, I'll I'll put a torch out. Oh, okay, no problem. Um, as Frida lands, she would grasp her holy symbol and divine sense to see if she can feel any of that evil that came out of the the guy that she killed. Fair enough. Uh, at this moment, I don't believe you can sense anything yeah, on that one. But feet. Uh, how long does it last for? It's just a momentary thing, isn't it? With it's sense. just an action. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. No. No. Fair enough. Uh, yeah. No. In this moment, no, you don't get any sense of anything like that. Um, I'm going to say that the the ground feels fine. Um, there is kind of a semi noxious smell coming from um, past the past this broken area off to this side, Frida. I'll give you that much. From your divine sense, I, I, James, mm -hmm. uh, I think I have a light on, but like I cannot like see further. Like I see like uh, an arc, like going from here to here. Okay, yeah, yeah, it might be your vision. Let's just make sure uh, on that. Well, one. I think it, uh, doesn't a torch only give you like twenty feet of vision? Yeah, but standing from where I am, like I should be able to see into the darkness, but I don't see anything past like here. Okay, let's give you a bit of that and uh, see if that helps you out. Hopefully that will help your token. Yeah, 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 that helps. Okay, okay. Um, no, yeah, so yeah, you've got a bit of light going on. Um, and as discussed, yeah, the, the, these things going on. Door and a, a dug space is probably the best way of putting it at the moment. But what are you guys up to? What direction did Halfred say that we could potentially find the Volve banner? that would be our priority uh absolutely um the main things that she uh, described the halls being uh pretty far south uh sorry not pretty uh, pretty far north of where you currently are if that makes sense there are other uh other rooms uh in between um that she has pointed out for you um but yeah in in as far as you know, north is the answer to that to that question from the, what you sort of said. Whether or not there's a way through um, is an, is a different thing. Obviously, you don't you're not aware of. But yeah, she's given you sort of rough ideas of north at the moment, and yeah, obviously I'll fill you in as you need on certain certain rooms. So certainly, um, it seems like there will be some sort of uh, would have been some sort of outside area uh, off to your sort of west uh, that would have been. Um, between some of the buildings, etc., was uh, what she sort of said before, and uh, yeah, that leads off to other buildings further off to the west. So I think Ziza takes a second to orient herself and then says, "Alfred said that we could find a banner in this direction," and points like at a wall. Says we can get outside, going that way, and potentially circle around. And she will just start. Okay, no problem. Yeah. Um, so basically, as you start to walk around there on that on that side of things, uh, the, the tunnel breaks into a sort of a larger cavern with a, a half burnt out torch that seems to have been set into some dusty marble paving stones uh, beneath your feet. There are passages sort of leading towards the north and more off towards the west. Uh, there is ash covering most of the tiles here. Um, yeah, you know this from what, um, what what she described of this area is uh, this is, would have been some sort of market district uh, on on that front, um, but it's obviously badly damaged and getting the orientation uh, with the buildings is is still tough at this uh, at this point. I can't see anything. Yeah, 
Boulder is not working as a light source for me at all. I don't know where anyone is. Okay, well, if, yeah. you, if you hold hold put for two seconds, everybody, I will uh, I will add to your vision and so uh, make it a little uh, a little easier on that front. You can see the green path to the north. Uh, yeah, that'll probably be that. There's some uh, light going on. I'm going to. Um, just gonna see if I can add 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 it that you all have a bit of torchlight to help that things along for now, if that makes sense. So. I, for what I, for what it's worth, my dark vision seems to be working fine. Yeah, me too. Yeah, I think it's the it's the poor ones without dark vision that are struggling. I think so. I have yeah. dark vision. Oh, okay, but yeah, you should be able to see. You should be able to see in gray. Oh, yeah, on that front. Uh, your vision is set to basic, that's why. We'll change that to dark vision, so you have a bit of that, Frida, on your one. Frida's basic. You heard it here. <laughs> no, I'm yeah. not. Honestly, I'm not. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> uh, right, sorry. Add a bit of light to you. Let's see how we do. 10 and 10, and see how... Now that does that give you a little bit of a uh, little bit of light yeah, there? I can, I can see ten foot. No problem. Uh, Router, you okay? I'm assuming you're. I am all good. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So that's uh, that's okay. Uh, so yeah, as you start to make your way out, Balder, you're sort of you get ahead of some of the others a little bit. You can see very bright um, light coming from spaces off further off to the sort of. Uh, sort of uh-huh. northwest, and there is also another tunnel to the uh, bit more to the direct west the, that's going on. So light, less light is probably the best way of uh, putting what you can see at the moment. Uh, there is also, it looks like there is some sort of uh, space to the north where it does sort of seem to open up into something uh, going on a bit further further in that um, direction as well. Where's the shop to us? If 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 I'm looking at the map. Which way would the shop be? Uh, her shop would be one second. Do do do. Uh, da, da, da. I believe that that would still be to the north of you at the moment, from what she's described. So yeah, mostly to the north, and still a bit of a distance off. Mm-hmm. Um. So yeah, from what you can see, three possible avenues: one with light, um, two without. Well, I I say let's go um, to the one with the light. I, I'm assuming. Yeah, I lost Jamie. Yeah, no, fair enough. Well, well I think we're going to be dealing with that all uh, all, all session. But uh, as he can join, uh, we'll see how he gets on. Um, but yeah, you guys uh, start heading a little bit towards the. Uh, towards the uh, north then and you can see the tunnel starts to widen a bit into a sort of a natural cavern of volcanic rock um uh, it's arching up uh, like a, a larger courtyard is above you as this is going on it seems to be covered in debris now um but once upon a time uh, it would have been uh, quite a sight there's definitely a sort of a large um eagle would be the best way of de- describing it um perched over a uh, a, a beautiful sort of uh, fountain However, now is basically um, spewing lava. If that makes sense, there is like mul- the what w- w- what would have been water in that fountain is now mar- uh, literally lava based as this is going on, and it seems like a thin stream of lava is flowing out of the mouth of the eagle uh, as this is going on. So it's like what would have been a water fountain is now oddly a lava fountain as uh, as this is going on. Well. Uh... If, uh, if that isn't telling us what's going on, I think uh, I think we should hurry up as, as fast as possible. I'd I'd rather not die in lava. I, dying in battle is what I want. Fair enough. Uh, as you, as you're starting so to move bad. around it, you suddenly see the the lava is bubbling and sort of shifting within the uh, within the pool as this is all going on. And uh, yeah, uh, I need. Uh, Whoever would be sort of um, paying the most attention um, can give me a perception check as this is all going on. Uh, who's got uh, the highest passive? Is it you? Yeah, who's got the highest passive? Yeah, and then they can give me a check. I'm oh, sorry, I rolled twice. That's okay. That's okay. Uh, Roundo, you're are the you're going to um, spot in the in the moment. Uh, there is some sort of a creature in the 
in the lava itself as this is going on and just as you're pointing it out to the to the others uh we will be rolling some initiative as this is all gonna uh, be oh. kicking off if, from as things are starting to make their way out oh, no. of the lava oh. i'm so glad i moved away <laughs> okay. I was a hundred percent sure, like, oh, in the in the hallway, like ahead of us, something's going to attack Hoder. Yeah, <laughs> oh, yeah, that was my fear when I saw Game Four suddenly appear on the screen. I was like, shit, <laughs> I'm dead, son. Okay, so we're gonna be, uh, yeah, we're gonna be rolling in a few of these guys, and we're gonna see how this is all gonna go. Mm. And we're going to change the uh, music up for something a little bit more combating, I think, is uh, on that front. Uh, who have we got? One more here, and uh, obviously for Jamie as well. Uh, right, okie uh, I will open up Jamie's sheet, I think, is probably the best way of uh, of dealing with it, as uh, we're going to all have to uh, work out what's going to be going on. So I'm going to just make all of you able to... Uh, see his sheet for now uh to help with uh, all of that and uh we can work it out as we go but uh yeah as it's uh Raudor points out what's going on and these uh creatures begin to uh appear hmm. out of the lava as this is all going on bear with me one more one more to go uh i believe as this is all beginning uh Baldor, uh with other thoughts sort of shaking in your head of uh of moments before you're but you you are you are who you are you react you react first to what's actually going on in the moments as this is all about to kick off i thought i was further down the initiative so uh, i quickly went to get a drink and then i heard you <laughs> calling my name so I well that. you know so, uh, so, so, but no no you uh you rolled the highest um, i suppose monks it kind of makes sense okay so what do these things look like um they look like um fire lava um something that's literally crawling its way almost like it's made of lava would be the best way of putting it all four of them or there there is one larger creature and then the other ones look like smaller smaller versions of the same thing almost it's very strange but they look very um elemental it would be your best way of putting it Oh, oh, shit, guys, there are things crawling out of the, out of the lava. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I just pointed that out. Yeah, like, I see it too. It's, it's crazy. Um, <laughs> um, I will uh, take the torch action. <laughs> no problem, no problem. Uh, Baldor takes the dodge action. Zisa, you are up next. Zisa was walking directly past this fountain. The beauty of it completely lost on her because she's in the in mission mode. And then these things started coming out, and Router gave a heads up, and she just turns ninety degrees, looks at them, and uh, holds up her crystal and squeezes the crystal, and you hear a crack. From the crystal and then you hear it reverberate right on top of these guys because she is going to cast shatter Ooh, okay on a large vat of lava Oof. okie dokie um she, yeah go for it uh okay so if i put it here it only hits them uh and it doesn't hit any of the walls mm -hmm. that's what i want to make sure that was okay so We'll put it there. Okay. Constitution saving throws in their future. Right. Let's see how they're going to uh, let's see how they're going to do on that one. Uh, da -da -da. Right. Con save incoming. Let's see how the first one does. The big guy. Uh, we'll roll a nine, so we'll be failing that uh, check. Woof, okay. And we'll be taking taking that. And then the little ones, they will... Um, you rolled nasty damage. 
That was yeah. awesome. It's an awesome move uh, cool. as that's going on. And then the little ones. Uh, so, sorry, that's. Uh, no, that was me. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I was I like, Hang on a minute. Frida saves and only takes half damage. <laughs> Uh, and the little ones sheets let's get their saves as well one two three and uh, two of them save one will fail uh, as this is going on and it will take 22 uh, killing that one in the moment nice. and uh, uh, as it does uh you suddenly sort of see as it's sort of shattering into bits, you suddenly like boom and goes off like an explosion oh, no. of fire uh, as it does. Uh, it's like it, it just wafts the hair of Rowder and yourself. Uh, the distance around it uh, is just, you know, not quite close enough to get to you guys, if that makes sense, of this fire. Um, but you do instantly uh, turn one of these things and it literally explodes uh, in the moment. As that goes on, but yeah, one one of the little ones has uh, has gone up in flames and and explosion in the moment. But yeah, your your shatter sort of sh shoves it off into uh, off to one side with it as a, as that as it explodes. As the other two continue along with the larger guy. Uh, okay, and then Zisa is going to Lord Sashomaru, run <laughs> out of here, yep. <laughs> and she skids directly in front of Holder, and says, That's about all I can do. The cantrip that I have is fire-based. I believe I will use this in this fight. This is up to you. No pressure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no pressure put on uh, on Hoda there. Okay, so that one is done. We are going for the uh, the big guy. He will start pulling, pulling themselves out of the lava and will make their way over to Rounder in the moments here and we will see how this is going uh it will uh, da, da, da. it will attack with a, it's got like a fiery warhammer oh it's pretty pretty dope uh let's see how that's gonna do with that sure that doesn't sound painful at all it uh yeah yeah it, uh, certainly uh certainly is uh, Seems like it's pretty good on that front, but it only rolls a nine, so it misses you with the uh, uh, with the actual uh, a actual uh, attack on that on that first roll there, as this is all going on, and uh, yeah, it will swing swing slightly wide as this is going on, but uh, yeah, it will miss, and we will move on, and it brings us literally to Hoda in this moment. Okay. Uh, first question: mm -hmm. Are the are the small flame guys mm -hmm. the size of a small bonfire? Mm, <laughs> no, they're a little. They're slightly larger than a than, than a small small bonfire. I, I would. I thought I'd check because yeah. otherwise I could just turn snuff, them off. Yeah, I was anyway, just, uh, snuff them out. Yeah, I see where you're going. Okay, okay. I thought I'd check. <laughs> um, taking Zizas words to heart, I will move forward enough that I'm in range and uh, in the middle of the flames here I will cast um, a little dust devil boy to deal with them okay I'm going to wind sweep these guys Okay, so these two are going to need to make a strength saving throw. Let's see how they're going to do yes. on that one. Strength save, one and a two. Uh, an 11. I'm assuming it's going to be too low. And one yeah, of them does One of them does pass uh, on that front uh, as this is going on. Uh, right, okay. And uh, it's seven bludgeoning. Uh, okay, yep, yeah, it will take... It will take that. And the one will also be blasted away 10 feet. 10 right. feet back. Okay, so that one has been uh, has been moved. Done. Uh, blown out of the lava. Uh, yeah, else? also there's a cloud that heavily obscures the area, so I think it's the vision of the one in it. This one is yep. going to be a bit it's stuffy. It's going to be a bit scuppered for a bit. Okay. Um, cool, cool, cool. No, yeah, that's all I'm going to do for now. I'm within a safe distance and I have a dust boy. So it matters. Okay, sorted. No problem. 
Okie dokie, right. Next on the list then, I believe, is Router. It is now your turn. The big guy directly in front of you. Uh, fieryness going on all round. What's going on? I shall attack with my great axe. Recklessly. Twelve. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, I'm guessing that misses. A uh, twelve will miss in this case as this is all going on. Yes, yeah, so you are... Uh, it, you uh, don't, but you can feel the heat of this thing uh, as it's coming, uh, that's coming off of this thing as this is all going on. Uh, uh, yeah, so yeah, you've uh, you, you've missed in this case, but yeah, you can feel the the heat as this is all going on. Um, but anything else on your turn? Uh, do I rage? Mm. Mm. Yes. Is it use the resources? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I suppose. Uh, Choices? I mean, uh, I uh, <laughs> I won't rage. Okay, I can block so, quite a lot of the damage. With, yeah. So it's saving fine. saving the resource for now. Okay. Uh, oh right, bringing us to that one, which is already dead, and this one has been shuffled back. Um, but yeah, and it will now move forward and make its way to Raudar on this side, and it's going to attempt to uh, attempt to touch you. And see how it does. It or will have advantage. On that one, 14. It needed the thing, but is 14 enough? I'm not sure. Uh, no, AC 15. No, fair enough. As this, so is this little thing makes its way up to you, but uh, uh, it's not hot enough right now to uh, to melt anything as uh, as that is going on, and it will uh, continue on. And then we have um, we have Blythe left. I will take a shot with him i'm assuming that's probably the best best on that front so i'm gonna give yeah, for a take the shot please. oh sorry yeah can you can you see your sheet or am i am i right to be no, just taking the I shot can't, I can't, I can't. no problem no problem okay so uh, i will i will give you the longbow shot and uh, and do it that way for you now uh on that one and uh i tend to roll reasonably well by the looks of it uh it was a 24 for 12 now would you be going for the little one or would you be going for the bigger target is the question um, there's that. There's uh, like there's one smaller one closer to you. There's one the big guy that's right next to Raudor, and then there's another small one that looks quite injured next to Raudor. So you have three possible targets. But which one would you have gone for? Uh, the bigger one, I think. You go for the big one. Okay, no problem. Yeah, sort of distance myself a little bit. I'd also tell them um, uh, I went to do an attack as well. Okay, okay. I will uh I will add that to the uh add that to the mix. And uh yeah. Yeah, your wolf uh is that staying put next to you for now or uh No, no. I order it to go and attack. Oh, okay. The the fire they're like molten lava. Mol molten lava elementals, yeah. <laughs> Oh right, I didn't catch any. That's I, okay. I, I that's all right. That's why I, that's why I'm trying to fill you in. Uh, I'm trying to help trying to help you out, yeah. Go bite the yeah, magma. Right. <laughs> Go yeah, bite the lava. What I do is I would give uh, the help action some of these. Probably oh. myself if I knew this beforehand, but never mind. Oh, fair enough. Fair enough. Uh, no worries. No worries. Okay. Uh, yeah, we can uh, we can bear that in mind as uh, as that's going forward. Uh, okay. This last of these little lava guys will make his way over to Frida this time, and it will attempt to touch you. Let's see how it's going to do. Uh, it crit uh, on that one. Um, so mm. seven plus seven fire damage, and on Earth the three other I can't I can't recall. One second, let's see why why it thinks on that one. Uh, oh, okay, yeah. Sorry, the uh, the other you don't have to worry about right now. That's at the end of your turn. Uh, you're you're basically on fire right now from this thing touching you. So, um, but so right. yeah, yeah, fourteen oh, fourteen fire damage be... at the moment from a crit. Um, uh, but that is done, bringing us to your actual turn, and uh, then on your turn you take the three, the three fire damage oh, because you're cool. you're burning. So you can, but you can put yourself out or uh, or leave it. I imagine it's an action to put myself out, right? Correct. Well, I'm not going to do that anyway. Um, is it wise to use my axe on these lava bodies? Interesting. Oh. <laughs> what do you find out? 
You I did don't. see me explode one, and what happened when that happened? You did see, yeah. Well, you did see one explode oh, like I, a hand grenade. I yeah. forgot about that. I, I meant like my axe is going to catch on fire. And the wood. Oh god, this <laughs> is not going to go well. Mm -hmm. Um, I will use the skagox. Can I use that as like a hand axe sort of thing instead of throwing it? Uh, yeah, you have. Uh, I think you have two uh, two options with it. Uh, yeah, it's, it, both of them are heal. It's oh, bludgeon yeah. or slashing. But yeah, yeah, but no, it, it does. It does have a non throw option as well in theory. Yeah, so I, yes. I'll use one of them. Okay. Um, are you going for the little guy or the big guy that's on rounder? I suppose is the question. I will go for the little one that's on me. Okay. I will use my inspiration for when Rowder went down. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah. Good, good, good. Start <laughs> using uh, your ammunition that you have. Yeah, fair enough. I'm glad I could have seen uh, <laughs> And uh, well worth doing, uh, turning uh, an 8 into a 19 uh, on that front. And I believe hit points wise, it has 9 hit points. Uh, so you will be you will be killing it with the... Uh, with the I don't actual... really know how to kill lava, but... Well, I, yeah. It, it, use, it, use your imagination. <laughs> I would like to use subdual damage on the lava, please. Um, um, that one. Um, so I need Rowder and yourself to make me a dexterity oh. saving throw, please. Oh, Rowder, you should have raged. Yeah. Oh, no, I have advantage on these anyway. Oh. Uh, see? Where saves in there? Uh, okay, so uh, yeah, Frida, you will take six fire damage from uh, from the fail on that one, and then just need Rowder's save, and you will be taking six fire damage as well uh, from as the as the thing explodes in uh, basically in your face with lava. Okay. What was the DC on that? Uh, the DC was eleven, so it wasn't uh, wasn't high. Then Rowder saves, right? Because yeah. Oh, advantage. Advantage. apologies, you have advantage. Sorry, yeah. Then you then yeah, you you have saved uh, versus uh, uh, <laughs> versus the uh, versus the other one uh, on that one. Do I take half damage? Uh, it's a save or suck in this case. Uh, oh, so, I mean, yeah. So yeah. Nice. No, no, you're uh, you're all good, uh, as that's all all going on. I am more than bloodied already, guys. <laughs> Just letting you guys know. Okay. 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 Uh, sending the little girl off. Uh, not looking so good. But all right. Okay. So we move move back round. Baldor, it's uh, you at the top of the turn order. Uh, there are exploding elemental things all around. Uh, one okay, small one and one so, large one left. So now that I've seen this, I've clearly seen these are monsters, not humanoids, right? Uh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, you definitely think these are of elemental origin. Okay, I will uh, take out my, my battle axe, which has seen very little use uh, this <laughs> uh, campaign so far. Mm -hmm. uh, I will run up and smack this guy. The, the little one or the big one? The little one. Okay, no problem. You gotta start small, right? Yeah, so, fair enough. Baby steps. Uh, oh, with a with a nine, I don't think you uh you hit, unfortunately. <sighs> okay, instinctually, I'm going to punch as a bonus action because I can do that. Because... <laughs> of course you can. Yeah, <laughs> yeah punch the lava. <laughs> a real firefighter, <laughs> just punch. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and an 11 you still yeah unfortunately you still miss uh, as all this is going on uh, anything else on his turn yes uh, I'm going to take a step back and have it swing at me oh okay okay uh, yeah fair enough uh, it will definitely try and touch you as you as you're leaving uh, I'm assuming a 20 will hit this time? Yeah, 20 will hit. Okay, uh, so 7 fire damage and you're on fire. Uh, so on your on your turns, uh, yeah, you will be taking 5 fire damage. Hey, join the club. Right. I forgot these things that you're on fire. Okay, good to know. <laughs> oh, okay, dokie. Uh, bringing us to the next in the list. Zisa, it's round to you. Zisa is going to 
rush past Hoder, skid to a stop next to Frida, and then turn, and then run down here. And uh, she takes a little bit of rotted meat out of her like sleeve, pops it in her mouth, and then swallows it halfway, and then uses her hand and almost as a claw. Almost looks like she's pulling it back up. And as she Ooh. does, her mouth starts to gurgle and boil. And she takes another step back because I have five more feet to do that. And she goes, <laughs> and just a, a spew of caustic grossness comes out of her mouth. And I'm going to cast Tasha's Caustic Brew. That sounds horrible. <laughs> It is. So I'm gonna do it there. <laughs> hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, because I'm using the thing. I can turn it, and bleh. Okie dokie. So we need to do a dexterity save here, and we'll get some acid damage. Okay, so dex save from the big one. Let's see how that one's going to do. Uh, I'm assuming a seven is going to be well down. That's once the first one you hit. Yep. And then the second one incoming with a with a save. And that one will get a 18. So the little one will save uh, as this is going on, but the uh the big one will not and will be covered in a in, in a bit of the acid as this is all all going down. So the big one is covered in acid and remains covered in acid until it uses its action to scrape off the acid, which means every turn it's going to take 2d8 acid damage. Mm -hmm. Well, as it's sort of a burning thing, I would say, yeah, it will certainly be there for a little bit, but uh, yeah, it will uh, it will be burning off over time. But it's okay. yeah, it's affecting it. I'm going to give it give it on that on that on that run. Uh, as that is going on, then if that you are staying put. Uh, yes, now, I used all my movement to get there. Yes, fair enough. It is now officially its turn, and uh, it's going to attempt to hit Rounder again. Let's see how it's going to do. Uh, it will have advantage. It will have advantage. Okay, incoming this time, and we see if it does any better. Does an 18 hit this time? It will indeed. Okay, so 18 for 10 bludgeoning damage and 2 fire damage, Rounder, as, uh, hey. as that's all going on. I will... Mean intercept Whoa. wow Dang. Dang. Damn. It. so yeah it's just sort of like uh what, 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 what how does this work with everything? i just swing like my axe that, just yeah just yeah, blocking the blocking the, the worst of the blows yeah. as it's uh, as it's going on awesome as uh yeah it's a hell of a combo between the two uh as uh, as the actual uh Except i take all the damage that's the thing she, she's oh, meant no. to take no 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 not that no not the interception i mean I get hit all the time, and then oh, okay. the one that is meant to get hit, the barbarian, is not getting hit. Well, it's working. Oh, it's working this time in this combination, so we're we're, we're getting there. Uh, I believe that is it's uh, officially it's it's turn there as this is all going on, uh, bringing us, I believe, to Hoda's actual turn. Um, so my little dust devil should still be there. Yes. I don't know why. It's yeah. not moving. No, that's probably the uh, me, me removing the template. Okay. Um, a little, a little too soon, but yeah, you, uh, you, you move it over the other one, uh, or he, he, this guy will be getting battered a bit. Um, mm. by I would like it to be moved to him. Sure, absolutely. As by bonus action. No uh, problem. And then I believe if uh, you can uh, re-roll the dust devil, but without using a spell slot, and that'll give you the damage. Uh, but it, sorry, it needs to make a save, doesn't it? Uh, DC thirteen. Uh, Going back up, let's have a quick look and see how it's doing. So in this case, we have saves, decks. It's only a plus one. Let's see how it's going to do. And in this case, uh, it's going to roll an 11, which I don't think is going to meet your DC of... 13. 13. So uh, yes, it will, be, it will be taking the two, the two damage this time. Um, and it should be buffered 10 feet away as well, so... Uh, okay, yep, fair enough. Um... I don't know how that logically works because it's coming from behind and Rauda's kind of in yeah, front of it. Yeah, I'm, so... uh, I'm, I'm going to say it buffets it this way because that's the only way okay. it kind of makes sense to me, roughly, if that Why? makes sense. <laughs> um... Um, but then in my actual action, Hoda would be coming around the back here. Um... 
and will give a little cure wounds <laughs> on <clears throat> uh, on the three of there. Okay, so, so you're seven. Nice. At least keep your up, and then I'm gonna back to the wall next to my brother. <laughs> fair enough. Fair enough. Uh, bringing us, by. yes, to the next in the turn. Router, around to you. I will attack this one. Okay, you're going uh, for the little guy. Oh, sorry, I rolled twice. That's all right. We'll take the first one. Uh, uh, so a 22, 22 for 11. Uh, for 11 uh, absolutely uh, killing it in the, uh, in, in the moment uh, as this is going on. And I need you both to make me <laughs> a... Uh, make me a save, I think. On oh, no, that one, is, should be a death save, uh, dexterity save. Sorry, yeah, not death. Death save. De death save is a little too, uh, a little too harsh. In the oh, 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 oh. <laughs> uh, seventeen. Uh, Do 17, I have to? Uh, no, you, no, you don't. No, no. It, it, it would be, uh, it would be only f uh, at the moment going to be Frida and Rauda that need to make the, uh, the dex save. Uh, seventeen, you're, you've, you've passed. That's no problem for you, Rauda, but just Frida. A deck save from yourself. Oh, you made. Uh, you did. Have, it's I just failed. Uh, you again. failed. So seven, seven fire damage from. Uh, uh, just from undo this all thing. the healing. Undo all my hard work. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I Frida is on fire. <laughs> she, she, she is on fire, literally. You are, you are correct. This you are. is fine. She just stands. This girl is on fire. <laughs> However, there are not many of these things left. Just the larger one uh, at this point, as this is all. Uh... Uh, I will then move into the space and just try and direct its attention towards me. Still, okay, yelling not in it, yelling at it in the in the moment as this is all going on. I'll bear that in mind. Uh, Bringing us down to Blythe, you can see uh, Rauda and Frida are in uh, close quarters with this larger uh, sort of fire elemental creature. Would be the best way of putting it. Um, you are, yeah, you are off uh, well within an archery shot, and uh, obviously uh, your wolf is with you and can offer aid as you need. Or have we lost Jamie completely? Oh, we've lost him. Ah, yeah, okay. do that. We we Let's know we know that. we know roughly. Uh, we'll do the uh, the uh, longbow shot again, and I'll give it the help action. Will be in use. Uh, he didn't need it though. He got a twenty three twice, so for thirteen piercing damage uh, as this is going on. Uh, so he's doing quite well on catching this elemental creature with a bit more a uh, bit more damage, uh, bringing us down to. Frida's turn. Um, first things first, okay. you're, you're on fire, uh -huh. so you yeah. take <laughs> damage. Uh, it was three, <laughs> three fire damage for you. For your turn. Cool. Um, judging by her last attack with the Skagots, was it safe to use the axe? Is it going to catch on fire? Uh, you have you attacked the little littler creature, the smaller ones, and that worked out yep. fine, apart from they exploded after after yep. death. Okay, um, well, she'll. This she'll is what you know. Switch. This is what you know. <laughs> yeah, she'll switch to a bigger axe. Okay. And take, take a big swing. Okay, nope. fair enough. Oh no, yeah, uh, the uh, the swing goes very very wide as uh, as you as you're trying that. Anything else on your turn? No, I have no bonus actions. <laughs> okay, it's still early days. Back to the top of the round then, and Baldor, I believe it's your turn. I'm still on fire, right? You are. You can use an action to put yourself out, or you can take five fire damage. Yeah. Okay, so I will use an action to put myself out. Okay. My fire enough. damage would put me at one HP, so let's not do that. Okay, yeah. You um, buffet yourself down and put yourself out. Is yeah, it at the start of the turn? That's what Frieda's is, or is it a different fire? No, no, same same fire. It's just a matter of if if, if you were going to say that you were going to use your action. I've done it in a slightly the wrong order. Oh, right, but okay. Yeah, I knew you weren't going to use your action, so no. I just went for it. <laughs> Fine. Um, but yeah, yeah, Baldur, yeah, you uh, you put yourself the flame. You put the flames out. Yeah, I, I would use second wind, but I used it last session, so Oof. not good. Um, I think we're going to rest after this, so don't worry. <laughs> Um, well, I hope this one doesn't explode, uh, and I will run up and attempt to grapple it. Is that a thing I can do? <laughs> oh, no, no, I use my action. I use my action. I use my action to, 
I didn't use my action to to attack, so I cannot use like a bonus action attack, right? Uh, I believe that's correct. Yeah, that sounds right. Uh. <laughs> well, shit. <laughs> it, it would have been cool. Uh... Yes, alas, um, is he sitting pretty? Uh, I suppose. Has he, uh, has he got something else on his? Uh... Yeah, uh, spend the key point patient defense. Okay. So, him. dodge action. Dodge action. Okie dokie. Bringing us back to Zisa. Uh, the, uh, yes, the fling creature is still there attacking uh, Frida around her uh, at the moment, but uh, what are you doing? I think Zisa is going to take out the dagger that she recently lent uh, Balder, and she's going to chuck it at this thing's head. Because hmm. her only cantrip is is Firebolt, and she's assuming that's not going to have much effect. Fair enough. So, out of the sleeve of my robes comes the dagger and Chuck. Uh, okay, yeah, 19 for 7. Yeah, you uh, embed the dagger into the uh, side of this thing. You can already see it's, going, it's glowing white hot. Um, uh, as it sort of embeds in the side, but uh, yeah, it takes uh, it takes the damage from that as this is going on. And I guess she'll use her movement to run to just here. No problem. No problem. Okay, back to this beastie. Let's see how it's going to do. Uh, it is going to swing at Rowder as uh, she has uh, literally put herself in the uh, in the mix and yelling at it. Let's see how that goes. Uh, for a 22 to hit in this case. Uh, yes, on that one for that five be. bludgeoning and one fire damage is the... Uh, uh, as the Frida as the... will once again try and block some of it with her axe, I guess. Try and it, intercept it at least. Mm-hmm. Do you take that damage? No, 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 no. Oh, okay. Oh, no, I'll just take one damage. Okay, fair enough. And and then I believe that brings us to Hodor. Oh, okay. Um. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, the guy on fire takes acid damage. He does take acid damage. Yes. How much? So he uh... takes uh seven acid damage. Oh, damn. Okay. I mean, this thing. Yeah, after that, looks like it's barely holding itself together as it's, the acid is sizzling and melting away its form. Uh, it looks very rough. Uh, but okay. Hodor, yes, it is It is your turn. Uh, Dust Baby is going to move to here uh, again. Okay, and we'll do another save. And it's going to roll a 14 this time. I think that's high enough, wasn't it? It was 13. Was the... uh, I think so. On that one. So, okay. So, yeah, no effect this time. Um, no, yeah. It's, it was... Okay, cool. Um, yeah, but it's there now. And Hoda's going to run around here and just be... Just, you, freedom just here in the back... Um, here in our ear. Um... Do not waste it this time. And just uh, smack <laughs> a little smack again for Kiwi. Because I am running out of spell slots. I mean, I'm not wasting it. <laughs> <Just kidding. laughs> uh, so eight. another eight, another eight healing uh, from Hodor. And back to my wall of safety. Okay. Uh, bringing us to Rowder, around to your turn. I will hit it with a great axe. No. Okay. Recklessly. Incoming reckless attack, uh, an 18 for 18? four. Uh, it had three hit points left to its name. Yeah, uh, Rowder, you, uh, yeah, you catch this elemental creature, and yeah, how does oh, it go down no. in the moments? Like, it's taken oh, out, I guess. Too. How would she do it? <laughs> Blow it out like a candle. Blow it out like a candle. <laughs> Knock the head off the thing. Yes, definitely. Nice, as it goes rolling uh, back into the lava it once came from on the. Uh, from the fountain. Does it explode? Uh, in this case, this guy does not have that feature, so it does oh, not explode. Okay. In, in the right. Yeah, no, no. Uh, on I that put front. myself out of fire. <laughs> uh, 
The only thing uh, that does happen, though, is as you hit the, uh, on that one, it, it, ha it does give you 1d10 fire damage from the, uh, from the heated body of, as your weapon connects. Sure, so sure. in that particular case, you will take three fire, uh, fire damage uh, as the last resort of this thing on that one, but no explosion. And as the uh, yeah, as everything calms down, silence erupts from the uh, from the spaces. Uh, yes, you have cleared them for now. Oh, that hurt so much! Oh, oh, so much pain. Is my so much? Is my dagger still intact? Uh, you look down, Router. It's there. Um, it's still glowing very very it's not white hot now but it's like an or, uh, orange hot right now in the moment can i use prestidigitation to cool it down yes you uh i you can take... chill warm or flavor food so instead i'm gonna chill this thing no absolutely yeah you what you you spend <laughs> a few mo you spend a few moments <laughs> and you can see the, the 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 bright burning orange slowly eases down uh back to cooler colors as uh as this goes but yeah clearly the uh the metal was overheated in the moment. Cool. <clears throat> okay, so yeah, you guys are yeah calm. Frida will uh, hold her emblem to her heart and just lay on hands herself at ten. <laughs> She's still looking pretty rough. Okay. Well, now she isn't, I guess. Fair enough. Fair enough. So yes, um, calmness um, comes to the space again. Things are quiet again uh, in the moment. Um, but yes, yeah, you are you are free to move around in the space. Uh, I don't know how many of you may have seen sort of creatures like that before, but it's obviously a um, very strange thing. But uh, a volcano has has just it, uh, erupted in the last few days. Yeah, I I was gonna see if I could confer with Hoder, and if him and I couldn't figure out if maybe this was something that could be expected to come from a volcano or, or if maybe this was like the lich king or one of the ironwood witches like what we were talking about before yeah you can uh, you can make an assisted arcana roll uh, between you guys on that one i think we both have a plus five right Jess? yeah do yeah, you yeah. want to roll it or me uh you can you can because uh, i think z sort of initiated the conversation okay dope. 15. 15. Um, I mean, you know elemental things are natural to the world, if that makes sense. Um, um, clearly, something like an eruption is something that could wake uh, such creatures from the from from that kind of plane, if that makes sense, uh, in the area. that Usually volcanoes are kind of the link between those sort of fiery planes, shall we say. So it's, it's unusual, but it's kind of also by the same token makes sense uh with what with what's going on but they're probably things that have been awoken um by the eruption of the uh, of of the actual volcano rather than anything more dramatic than that at the moment so i i nod after getting done speaking with hoder and i turn to the group it's possible that more of these elementals uh, from the eruption could be around I unfortunately have a spell of fire as my main means of attack, which means I will be of less help in these fights. I believe we'll have to depend on Hoder and Blythe in these future conflicts as they can attack from a distance. I'm not sure I'm going to be much use anymore. That kind of took a lot out of me. I did a from the battle upstairs and the battle we've just done. I don't know how much more I can give Ole. Like, it might be useful to have a little <laughs> rest, right? And... I, I... I appreciate that you two, you all need a rest, but an hour uh, sitting here while a volcano is erupting, I don't... I don't particularly think that's a great idea. I... I do agree. It's more just don't get your hopes up that I can be as useful. As I also, as I also don't think that running wounded into 
an area with wandering fire spirits around is necessarily a good idea either. Mm, these are the choices uh, in life, but that's certainly uh, that's certainly true. You, you see Zisa sigh, and she kind of centers herself for a minute, and the tattoos that are visible on the back of her hand and on her face begin to swirl and rearrange themselves. And I'm going to use the feature that I have, um, which is called uh, my arcane intention. So I am going to use my bonus action to change one of my prepared spells in for one of my not prepared spells. So I am going to get rid of charm person and I'm going to plot in um, witch bolt. Okay. Yes. Yeah, so this is part of the uh, uh, the things for your actual uh, uh, actual class from within Raid of the Seven Sea. So this is something new on that front. So interesting to see. Yes. Uh, and on that one and yeah so you're swapping them in no problem on that front um as a group then are you going to press on or are you going to try and um pull back and and take a rest what's 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 the overall thought hodor does agree that we don't have the luxury of waiting around it is a volcano there isn't really much we can do for sitting around it it is annoying to him that there isn't anything he can really do about his situation not being helpful with his spell slot loss but it makes full sense that we can't just sit around with a volcano in an active volcano setting essentially okay uh, fair enough yeah freedom of, of the mind that yeah we don't we don't have the time to have a rest even though she would very much like one uh, i don't think Okay, Possible. fair enough, fair enough. So I think you guys are going to be pressing on towards the north uh, for a little bit and uh, we'll, we'll come to some more rooms up ahead. But I think uh, it's probably about that time to go and qu get a quick uh, quick drink and uh, freshen up for a few moments. And then we'll, uh, I think we'll return for, for more in a moment. So uh, yeah, I'll, uh, we'll go to break. All right, so we are back. Uh, everyone has decided to uh, not rest right now and um, apparently try and press on through the these caverns of uh, semi-hardened lava. Um, you know, you've obviously taken on these uh, magma creatures and uh, taken them out. Some of you are more worse for wear than others, but uh, you're all alive and kicking. Um, Frida and Baldor, you're sort of... Uh, a little bit ahead of the rest of the group, um, but uh, yeah, uh, how do you press on? Um, I think we just move on. We, we're, we're in a bit of a time constraint. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That pathway leads more to the west. Do we want to backtrack and head more towards the north? Again, both are both options that you uh, that you can have. Um, yeah, uh, Frida, you do tuck your tuck around the corner there. You can yeah. see there are two sort of cave ways that go out. One looks like it sort of enters into some sort of a a sort of a building uh, sort of area of some description, um, and the other one looks like another sort of lavaish tunnel off to one side, uh, heading a bit more southwest, if that makes sense. So mm -hmm. the directly west and a southwest is what you what you're seeing up ahead. Um, Zisa, I think you are right. Um, this only seems to go west and south. I think we should track back and try the other one that goes north. And she will instantly start going in that direction. No problem. Yeah, you you start to uh, you start to pull pull back and making your way uh, making your way off as this is all sort of going on. She uh, stops everyone right away. Mm -hmm. Because she saw someone right there. Yeah, for a moment you saw you saw a figure sort of um, moving uh, in the darkness, but obviously, but you definitely saw someone sort of move up, moving off. See, so uh, someone is within that. It doesn't look like it. This directly connects with whatever is going on in that room. Um, you can't quite get through there. There's there's just a spike crack through. If that makes sense, you're seeing into the room, but you do catch movement, and you saw. Um, the description of a raider would be the best way of putting it. Uh, a female raider was moving a, uh, away from you in the in those moments. Did it seem like they were moving in response to us, or were they just moving? Uh, make a um, 
Make an insight check. All right. This might surprise you. She's not very insightful. <laughs> Never. Never do counts. Oh, Ooh, she is no. pretty okay. Yeah, not bad at all. Um, you get the feeling that no, you weren't. It wasn't in response. To, uh, you don't think you got spotted in the moment, if that makes sense. Um, but they, yeah, they, uh, they definitely were moving. They were just generally moving as you uh, as you came into view. There's at least one raider ahead in that room. We have not been spotted yet, but we could possibly attack with the element of surprise if we wanted to. We we would have to go through this door, right? We can't uh, go there, through there that, are, that there is, there, You can't quite get through there, but apologies, there is one more door here that uh, is not set as a door. Um, but, ah, okay. So but let me, uh, right. one second, it would... Uh, it would actually be uh, would would definitely be l sort of something going on, but yeah, you see, there is a door there. If that makes sense, you can you can see the shape of one. Baldo, I I know this. It was hard for you up there, but I don't want to be mean. But I I would really appreciate it if you would either fight or not drag us down in this. I know it's your clan, but I'm not dying because of cowardice. They are under some sort of spell, whatever. They are still trying to kill us at the end of the day. Odor seems to be fine with it. I I think you should... Well, what Hodor thinks is Hodor's business. We have led very different, different lives. I cannot promise I will fight, but I will do my best to not be a burden. If you, all I'm trying to say is, at least fight and knock them down. If you do not want to kill them. That is, that is an option. You do not need to stand in, in the way of all of the arrows like up there. I understand it's your clan and it's hard, but... Unfortunately, one does not always have the choice, even if one tries not to kill. Well, it is up to you at the end of the day. I cannot persuade you. So yes, there appear to be three doors. Um, yeah, uh, obviously one to the north, one to the sort of mainly east, and then obviously one to the south. Are we in sort of agreement that we're going to go into the room that the person was in, or we do we want to yeah. go around? If around is an option, we could, but they are directly to the north, and that is the way we're supposed to go. Efficiency, I like it. Uh, and she'll try to open the door. Okay. It's locked. Uh, it's not actually locked in this case. You just feel that it just doesn't budge. Um, the, you don't think there's actually a lock on it per se. Uh. It just doesn't seem to give. Could I try ramming? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, you can make a strength check. With help from Rowder, <laughs> I'm, I'm hoping. Sure. Yeah, you can. Zisa's gonna ready a firebolt in case there's anything on the other side of the door. Um, twenty-three. <laughs> 20, twenty. Yeah, but uh, with the twenty-three. <clears throat> How are you going about this, Freedom? Are you taking a run-up barge, or are we talking like trying to push against it? What's Frida trying to do here? Like a SWAT team kick. <laughs> I if I was. If Frida was doing it on her own, it would be a running barge, but I think because Rauda is helping, mm -hmm. I imagine we're both at the door trying to push it. Yeah, you're both pushing against it. Okay, on that one. Um, you are 100% sure that it 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 can't be done. Uh, you felt like you've got a lot of strength between the two of you, and it doesn't, doesn't give as you guys are pushing against it. Um, there must be a lot of weight piled behind it. 
You hear subtly uh, little bits of things slipping of some sort of like earth and bits that might be it must be on the other side, uh, but it doesn't actually give out. So you're pretty sure it's yeah might not be doable. You weren't overly loud about it, but you uh, yeah you don't feel it's you're pretty sure you're comfortable that it's probably not doable. Your you two together is pretty strong. Well, I think uh, around it is then. I I think there's something blocking it. It could be uh, rocks that have fallen. Um, could be a barricade for all I know, but me and Rowder cannot move it. I will <laughs> try to open this door. <laughs> no, fair enough. Uh, you hear a click, click this time. You do think this is a locked door. Does anyone have any way of opening this door before I smash this one down too? <laughs> I all, all we can do is smashing. I, I, I am afraid. I don't know if uh, I think there might be some thieves' tools in on Blythe on that one. So give me two seconds. Let's just have a quick look if he has got something like he that. Does not have any tool proficiency. Uh, okay. I will check his D and D Beyond sheet. Maybe it hasn't transferred over. Yeah, on that one. Um, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna give it the the old. He gives it the old college try with trying to trying to pick the lock and just see how he uh so he does. I'm just gonna have him roll a d20. No, he has so. a herbalism kit. Oh, okay. So. Useless. He is. Yeah, but I he did he did get a twenty from me <laughs> on the, on on doing that roll. Uh, it may not be his speciality, but I'm gonna give it to him that. Uh, Somehow, some way, quietly, he manages to uh, get that lock to uh, to go in this case. Can we say it was the dog? Can we say yeah, it was the wolf? Yeah, yeah. Assistance from the dog. Um, but yeah, the uh, the door will uh, will open on the other side. The interior walls between the rooms have uh, seem to be a, have been recently chopped open. Uh, there is a passage leading north that you can definitely see what's going on. The eastern walls have buckled somewhat, smashing dozens of wood and marble sculptures that once adorned wooden shelves along the walls here. On the opposite wall there is less damage and a few statues still stand. Um, yeah, some sort of a statue room of some description. Um, uh, like it was described the as the Hall of Statues from, uh, from the, uh, uh, the lady above. I think Zeus is doing the same thing as me. I think I'm gonna hug the wall and try and look in the room. Yeah, same. Cause I, 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 this is around where I like saw the the lady walk by. Absolutely, absolutely. You can definitely do a bit of that. Yeah, you can make a you can make a perception check as uh, uh, as this is all going on. Would you like to do it, Zisa? I will help you do it since I have nothing in wisdom. Okay. I also have nothing, but at least I have plus two. <laughs> That counts as not nothing. That counts as plus two. Uh, so you, that, that was an assisted one, assisted roll, yeah. if that makes sense? Yes. Yep, yeah, fair enough. Uh, I'm going to say with uh, 17, there is a flicker of uh, of light below a uh, a crack of a door that's uh, rough at the far <clears throat> end of the room. But no one is in the, no one seems to be in the space beyond uh, right now. We we seem to be safe for now. There's uh, there's something happening to the north. Which Again, is where we need to head. Where we need to head. Yes. Fair enough. Is anyone paying any attention to the room you're in, or are you just moving straight um, on? I probably. I think whilst they were perceiving out there, I would have perceived in here just to. Uh, make yeah, sure you can, that you, yeah. You can make a make a perception check for me as all that's going on. Sixteen, uh, sixteen on that one. Um, yeah, there are some reasonable um, paintings on the wall that they would be quite valuable, um, but obviously very bulky items um, as far as you can tell. So, yeah, not the greatest to, uh, find. But if you were is, in haulage mode, it would be they might, there would be value in them if that makes sense. Is there uh, the subject matter of the painting? 
are they peculiar subject matters? Uh, no, they don't look like they're um, peculiar on that one, but they do seem to be like um, ceremonial based. So they are of um, events uh, happening within the uh, within the town and the city, if that makes sense. So uh, one looks like a um, uh, sort of a figure sort of at the front of a crowd uh, um, on some sort of event day or something like that. And another one, sort of some sort of gladiatorial uh, event that was that that had gone on past so they seem to be more sort of um yeah more along those times good quality but um yeah just bulky items mm. uh, meanwhile then yes everyone else you start making your way into the next room uh, as this is going on um there is, uh, yeah, a large sort of great hall in majorly in 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 disarray as all this is going on. Um, yeah, it's uh, banquet tables and bits and bobs around as this is all going on. Um, <clears throat> not too dramatic, but uh, is there anything you would be be up to? I don't think. Frida is in the mood to like investigate, so she would more be going towards the door um, and trying to see if she well see if she can hear anything coming from inside the door. Um, certainly, you can make a make a perception check. Ooh. Oof. Hmm. No, not 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 that you can hear. There seems to be no one in that door. <laughs> but we did see the torchlight or firelight or something underneath, you right? You did earlier. You definitely saw some a flicker of torchlight a little while ago. It that, could be more lava. It could, but also that woman is not here. I saw a raider in this room, and this is the only way she could have gone. Unfortunately, I think it's the only way we could can go as well, so... Barring you have you have seen other routes uh, in other areas, if that makes sense. But yeah, not nothing going directly north. So it's definitely true. Balder Holder, do you wish to try to speak to whoever's in this room as they are of the Luton, or should we be on the offensive? I think we should talk to them, even if they won't return. I would suggest we communicate these people aren't in their right minds and we should check before we do anything rash. I, then I have... you two can open the door. Well, okay. If and I it... die here. Well, let's hope that doesn't happen. Fair enough. Yeah, you open the door and there is a small corridor. Um, again, going through the earth uh, as this is all going on. Okay, behind me. <laughs> no, I, no, I would. I, would, I ran into a wall. <laughs> I apologize. Yeah, we're, we're behind you. Don't worry. <laughs> <Not sure. laughs> Fair enough. Uh, yeah, Baldor, you open the next door uh, as this is going on. Uh, a woman carrying a round shield with a. Uh, a bright orange wolverine emblazoned upon it in her right hand and a torch in her other hand. She was strolling casually past the table there on that side when she notices you guys opening the door in that moment. Her eyes widen in surprise, but her lips swiftly set into a grim line of determination and she appear, uh, appears to be preparing to attack. So it's all going to be uh, the rolling wolverine. some That's the, the wolverine. Warning. Yeah, that's not the Luton, right? No. It appears to be yeah. something else, yes. Whoa, 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 whoa. We're, uh, we're not here to fight. Well, we'll, we'll see. We're going to have... Uh, <laughs> we'll, we'll get some initiative and see what order things... Uh, uh, which, which way things uh, kick out as this is all there going There was on. enough of a quiet point. And I was like, oh, uh, were, we to, were we supposed to interact? Uh, I was well, like, oh, no, you may, you may get the chance, but let's see uh, Let's see how uh, how they're doing is. Oh, okay. Oh, she bludgeons our head in with her shield. Great. <laughs> <clears throat> uh, 
Drew, yeah, you need to roll, and I will bring in Jamie's character. Roll it for you. Okie dokie. Uh, so in this particular case, as the combat is going to begin, Frida, you're going to get to react first as the door is opened and, uh, yeah, this raider is on the other side. Um, um, yeah, so Frida is... Um, she's a guardian of the Volve, so I'm assuming she knows pretty much all the emblems and knows who they're for, so she would kind of know what the these are yes no no problem on that one um, on that front uh, i think this is an the, that's an orn clan symbol uh yeah. rather than uh rather than the other one yeah she would she would come in and go we, we are not with oh well, i guess we kind of are we're with the volve we we <laughs> we come with no harm we we've we've come to help any orn that uh that are in danger we we do not seek to hurt you make a persuasion check in the moment. Not very persuasive. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh, JK, I am. Oh, okay. <laughs> With a 16 in the moment. Uh, uh, yeah, as she's sort of raising to uh, uh, to go, and uh, she sort of, uh, she just suddenly, she suddenly drops it a little bit and goes, I thought you were more of the rest of them. Where have you, where have you come from? As I said, we, we are with the, we are with the Volve. Uh, we we've come. We saw that uh, your island was being engulfed in lava, and we 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 thought we'd come save you. And we ran into that Lutan clan that seems to be pillaging your people. And we we've come to at least try and save as many people as we can. Yeah, I I don't know what's going on. They they arrived, or some of them arrived earlier. A strange man with them, but um, then all hell broke loose and the volcano erupted and yeah, we've just been trying to well, save what people we can from these tunnels and uh, try and bring them all back to the keep. At least there we have a chance of, well, a chance of getting out, we thought, and maybe we'd be able to get things figured out, but we've lost so many so far. Um, we just don't understand what's going on. Did you say they arrived before the volcano erupted? Some of them did, yeah. We don't understand why this the, the strange wizard man was manically chanting when we saw him, but it's it's very strange. And then all what hell was, broke loose. What was this man's name? I I'm sorry, I only heard the rumor of him. I have not seen him. I do not know. But, and do Baldor and Hodor have any symbols of their clan on them? Do you think, or uh, are they are they pretty uh, hidden? I would be the, is the question. Oh, probably. Hodor, not so much. Doesn't seem suspected. Well, you <laughs> did. You did both try to talk before to your clansmen. Would you have tried to orient your yeah, symbols probably. so that they were seen? Yeah, probably. No, fair yeah. enough. I mean, uh, yeah, she sort of takes a step back from uh, from you, obviously, but but, but obviously having uh, having Frida actually said you guys are from the Volve has sort of uh, steadied her. But she's definitely looking at you, um, Baldor, and sort of uh, her weapon is sort of like pulled forward in trying to uh, keep you uh, keep you at bay a little bit on that front. But uh, uh, it's like a, I don't understand what your clan are doing here, but. Um, it's yeah. There's something going on, your people. Trust me, we don't know either, and we are trying to find out. Yeah, she nods and then sort of is, is taking it in as uh, our as, as that's going on. Is there anyone like within the clan that we might know that might fit the description of like uh like this? wizard character that we uh oh um make a um make just make a general history check can i aid on that yes you can is, mm -hmm. he, is your history better in that case can i aid you uh what's your history plus minus one. Oh, plus three so yeah <laughs> oh you can help me <laughs> 
I, I also think it's more likely that you know like people yeah. in the clan than I do since I've been away for quite okay. a while. Okay. Uh hold on. Um there just oh, obviously there are some history of some wizards within your clan. It's very rare. Um, but there are some. Um you do remember hearing stories of one wizard that came to prominence at one point that disappeared many years ago um uh, could this be could this be that person and it's uh it's hard to say but yeah you are aware of a name of trandil um that was some trandil. that was a that was a name but that that was that person got ostracized a long time ago uh, how, yeah how do we kind of look at bottom just like do you remember being told about that guy called yeah some sort of banishment and you're you, you you remember it partially because you know your parents were involved in the banishment at the time mm. i think that's where that comes from but yeah wizards are ridiculously rare in this world if that makes sense there is uh yeah it's not something that you know much if of, anybody's yeah. looking at zisa during this conversation with wizards she actually isn't paying attention and it looks like she's concentrating on something else yeah how do probably tell us the group um about it if we'll say uh there was a trend in the uh, kind of got uh ostracized from the clan our parents were kind of involved with the whole uh, banishment aspect of it all but um i don't really remember much details about it because we were pretty young yeah there was definitely a, a hubbub at the time but yeah there was definitely talk of banishing someone for well basically for being a wizard is probably enough in uh <coughs> in the lutan clan at that point Listen, we we are as confused as you, but we we are seeking uh, we are seeking to the north of this place, something to the north of this place. And we would, seeing as you're part of this clan, you might be able to guide us to where we're trying to get to. Um, I promise I'm... we'll pr protect you. And after after this, we we have plenty of room on our ships for you to come under the protection of the Volve, which we don't have. <laughs> but she doesn't know that um, <laughs> uh, uh, she's sort of like um, I've been through some of the tunnels here and places mostly most of the stuff to the south uh, I've not been much of this this side of things to the north on this route but there there are many ways through this it, it's a sprawling mess and to be honest I've been a little lost for a little while I got cut off from some of my colleagues as we were searching some of the tunnels uh, one one of the routes that came through uh collapsed behind me uh off to the south uh south southeast uh and then i've been looking for a way through myself but yes i'm and any help i can be i will i will try After uh, is, is, is your is your way in still open well we hope uh it was open when we got down. We haven't checked again, but uh, okay. So there is an hour now a route to the surface this way. That's that's good, and that's news we could take back if we could map a route through. Uh, yes. Some of the survivors would be uh, would be savable. Yes, uh, as as much as we do want to save as much as you, but we we are on our own mission first, and we will come back for your allies if if we have time but we we are against the clock as you know then do you wish me to come with you or shall i make my way round and find see if i can find my, my own way back through or to the surface dina's you're alone i think you should come with us uh i don't think you'll be able to survive we just fought some Lava creatures that 
We're very tough. I don't think <laughs> you'll be able to her fight. Her eyes go a little bit wide, yeah. You can see she's not dressed like a, um, a full warrior, if that makes sense. She's uh, more uh, more of a... Uh, you know, uh, a, a lighter guard, shall we say, than any than anything. But uh, yeah, she's in the state she's in uh, uh, as this is going on. But uh, if if you could help us get to the north out, would be brilliant. As I say, you can you can come with us off this island. Well, unfortunately, it's being destroyed. Um, anything to get off now, <laughs> and if the more we can take with us, the better. And she nods and sort of grimaces, uh, grims herself a bit and prepares herself for whatever's going to be lying ahead. Hey. So I'm assuming this is a dead end. Yeah, it looks like a like a dead end of a bar, some sort of a, a barracks bedroom or a, or something along those lines as, uh, as as you're sort of initially looking round. Uh, as you right. as you move this way, Frida, you do see there is a sort of a partially broken wall uh, towards the uh, towards the sort of south here, if that makes sense. Um, but there is no door there, if that makes sense. Do you know any way of getting further north? Uh, this is as far north as I've come uh, on that front. Um, Make a just make a perception check for me, uh, Frida, on that one for a moment. Just generally of that room you were dealing with. Mm, yeah, <coughs> it's, a, it's a it's a damage a badly damaged room with a crack in the wall. Um, as far as you can tell. Is there anything any, you guys are going to be up to? Do any of you have any? Ideas, I am. I'm, I'm out. Zisa suddenly exhales and goes and pushes her hands out away from her. And I have spent 10 minutes ritual casting uh, Detect Magic, which is what she was doing the entire time. Oh, nice. Okay. So. So now within 30 feet of me for 10 minutes, I can sense magic, which uh, one of the reasons why I wanted to do that was, is this lady influenced by anything or ah, is she on the up and up? Fair enough. Uh, barring whatever magical things that are on your party. Uh, yeah, no, everything else seems legit at the moment. There doesn't seem to be any other uh, other things going on right now. Okay. In the space. Um, the one thing you would, like I suppose, the one thing you would notice about the rooms you're in, they are made for smaller folk, if that makes sense. They're not laid out for normal size folk, and definitely not for Zisa. <laughs> Zisa's very tall. Yeah, actually, I think Router's very tall too, and I'm pretty sure Frida's very tall. Frida is. I've written it down somewhere. Six foot two. Okay, Zisa's six foot four because Seb made her six foot four. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, <laughs> does this wall look like it's? Uh, triple like could i open it further um it's made of wood and and a little oh, it's bit made of wood a little oh, bit sorry. a I little bit of rock uh, there's a little bit of rock there um but maybe with a bit of a uh, bit of effort sure you're just spending a bit of time hacking away at it does that yeah, make sense with, with somebody's help i'm assuming i yeah. can do it um, no. i can move some earth with a bit of magic Okay, so you sort of do the, you do the assist of moving the earth, and yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, by the by the same token, yeah, Frida, you uh, you help so, sort of uh, hack down the wood as this all goes, and yeah, you're able to uh, able to uh, make your way through uh, into this into this next sort of halfling home room, if uh, if that makes sense. There's a door. Uh, I will open the door. No problem. Uh, yes. Yeah, I'm gonna check the bed. <laughs> uh, the space sort of opens out into some uh, some more broken and rubblesome rooms, uh, a little bit uh, problematic uh, spaces. But uh, yeah, uh, it's only a lot of debris around as uh, as you as you're as you're going. Um, but yeah, not not a problem to uh, to actually do as that's all going on. Oh, whoops! Sorry, I cast attack magic again. My no, bad. no, no, yeah, fair <laughs> enough, fair enough. You are detecting so much magic. Detecting so much magic. Um, Zisa will say, um, what is your name? 
to the woman because I don't think we ever got her name. And Rita. she says, Risa. Risa. Mm. I am Zisa. Do you know mm. Halfred? Uh, um, no, sorry, apologies. No. Is, is that. She is a blonde woman of elven lineage. She works with ships and carvings. There's quite a. Well, there was quite a contingent of. Uh, there's there's an elven district down here. Uh, there are many uh, there are many elves that make their home here. Um, you have found another survivor. Uh, okay. Yes, she is the one who gave us a rough layout of the land as it was. That's what we are going off of. That's how we know to go north. Yeah, she's she's right. The uh, the main uh, keep uh, would would be further off to the north through the through the caverns. I came from there originally, but my uh, my route has uh, unfortunately collapsed behind me. I came in from a more southeasterly direction than here. Well, to the south and slightly to the east, there is a way with a rope that leads up. That's how we descended, in case you become separated from us and need a blade to escape. Excellent. Thank you, Arya. I'll, I'll bear that in mind, especially if, uh, if we do meet up with the rest or I, I find my way through. Thank you. And once you do make it to the surface, if you do get separated from us, seek out Harolf. He's a one-eyed raider of some standard. He will help. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Uh, Freely, yeah, you carry on um, moving forward. There seems to be uh, a couple of doors. Apologies, the map's a bit odd at this point but yeah there are if you need me to move you through but there seems to be two no, doors no, that are going on hopefully my browser just ah, like, gave out collapsed on itself no worries <laughs> um she's not really she doesn't care about death she's not going to listen to to the doors she's going to open <laughs> Great. No problem. Uh, another <laughs> another sort of uh, room presents itself beyond you. Uh, there appears to be a broken sort of space beyond uh, that seems to be uh, moving things further further on from uh, from where you currently are. Uh, or there are other doors and corridors here, if that makes sense. Um, I think uh, this way is probably our best bet. I think. The door below would probably just lead us back. I mean, I'll check anyway. I'll open the door. Okay, yeah, beyond, there seems to be more broken rooms, uh, f other further off spaces. Uh, it leads off in further through more and more broken rooms uh, as this is going on, Baldor, as you start to make your way a bit further further off uh, as, that's, uh, as that's going on. Uh, yeah, more and more broken rooms, Further off as uh, as you as you go. Okay, I'll go back because I don't want to get separated. Maybe <laughs> check this door real quick. Uh, fair enough. Yeah, uh, on that front. Uh, yeah, that one yeah, it will uh, will open as well. There's no uh, no problem. Another broken halfling type room. Okay, not nothing that catches my eye here. Make right a now. make a perception check. Let's see how you do. Oh, here we go. Baldur's gonna. <laughs> Find something and keep it to himself. <laughs> find something amazing. One diamond. Yeah. And and no blight here uh, this time to keep it to to uh, spot me. To no. be fair, if Jamie were here, he'd probably have Blythe doing a lot of the scouting. But yeah, uh, no problem. Uh, there appears to be some sort of uh, maybe jewelers type tools in the room, uh, along with uh, two shiny half cut. Uh, blue stones that seem to be amongst them. <laughs> Those are going straight into my pocket. <laughs> <laughs> okay, fair enough, fair enough. That's you eight. spoke it in the bean, Joe. It's your fault. Uh, oh, my, the prophecy has been realized. The prophecy has <laughs> She's been just going to carry on. She doesn't know that's happening. Fair enough. Fair she enough. she feels a shiver in it. She's like, ooh, what was that? <laughs> Uh, you come around the cor corner and there appears to be um, um, straw, uh, the strong smell of animals. Um, uh, seems like um, 
what was what was a barn of some description mm. uh, that you've seemed to make, make your way uh, into as this is going on. Bear with me. I'm just going to bring everybody else so they're uh, not as far behind you. One second. As this is all going on, and Baldur ever turns with a yeah with a with a smirk <laughs> on his face. I'm sure. Uh, as this is going on, but yeah, yeah, uh, the strong smell of um, of farm animals is uh, definitely going on. Um, but yeah, it's all um, all open as this is all uh, all uh, all a thing at the moment. Mm. It's, it's pretty great when you're literally the whole thing of your characters. She's not afraid of death, so who cares about <laughs> doing perception checks? And who cares about <laughs> you and you and Drew? Yeah, it's a good combo, Andrew. <laughs> yeah, which is what the fail say. Fair enough. Uh, what you can see uh, across this lo this slightly larger courtyard is there appears to be uh, a bunch of doors to different barns, etc. As this is going on, you're in a sort of a courtyard area. Um, there seems to be, um, yeah, um, a different barns, um, Mostly dark. However, there is a lot of firelight coming under the under the doors of this particular barn. As you guys are uh, sort of making your way, it is uh, the way we need to go. So that is always good. Fair enough. You see, there is a pathway leading off to the sort of west, n northwest above, and obviously the barn itself. Oh yeah. Zisa turns to Risa, which is never going to get hard to say at all, <laughs> and says, Are more of your survivors in that barn? Uh, I've n I have not been this far north uh, in this area. Uh, there could be. Um, we, I've not run into any for a little while, and we've sent most of them back to the keep via the other way. Um, possibly is the answer. Perhaps we should observe the door to see if there's any recognizable voices that you know or any obvious Luton raiders there. Um, yeah, she nods. You, so we're sending her ahead to try and have, have a listen in? Oh, Zisa said that to the group. Ah, I mean, if she group, wants okay. to do it, that's fine. No, no so, if it was to the group, that's different. Yeah. So the barn's further up here? Yeah, yeah, the barn is directly so, up here. So what's this door? Another barn. There seems to be two barns, but one's got light under the door, one has none. I'm opening this door. Okay, <laughs> the strong smell of dead horse hits your nostrils uh, in the in the moment, Ooh, and you see the body of a of a, of a rather large uh, horse. Uh, uh, How long has this horse door. been dead? Um, make a medicine check. That it stinks dead hard. It stinks. Hoder, Hoder comes in like, horse bones! <laughs> Not quite like that. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's got flesh on the bones. Uh, it can't have been that long. Um, but yeah, you don't, you don't know much more than that. But it's definitely starting to, yeah, not, not be the greatest smelling. Hmm. Anything yeah. else that off off note? Like, um, make a. Uh, are you going to investigate the space? Is that what you're going for? I think, or are you just looking around? Yeah, yeah, sure. Okay, yeah, yeah make an investigation check. Of the space. Just generally, I'm not like specifically looking for anything. So just anything no that catches my eye. So perception, I'm assuming, <laughs> or investigation. Uh, you can you can go for either, but yeah, you, I mean you've rolled yeah. it now, so yeah. But say no, nothing stands out in the in the moment as this is going on. A lot of hay and uh, um, a couple of barrels around with not much in them. Uh, a little bit of water, st uh, stagnant water or standing water. Yeah. Okay. Um, can I Frida, see yeah. in this barn, or is this just for? Yeah, it's just for show, but yeah, there's uh, okay. there's there is flickering light. It, 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 there is significant enough of a gap below it that there is light coming through. If that makes sense, so you can tell. I will oh, now because there's light. I'll open the door with the, my shield up. Fair enough. Uh, on that front, uh, as you do, um, there is a vast number of animals on the other side, and uh, they start to rush you. 
uh, as this oh, is no. going on. Ooh. As, Ooh. as, as, as goats start running out of the... Uh, <laughs> Uh, out of the actual stable uh, where they where they were stuck and uh, are moving away, uh, running <laughs> running running run, yeah, <laughs> make, <laughs> make, running running between you all and sort of go randomly moving around around the space as this is going on. Um, uh, instantly, Frida, yeah, you 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 do see that there is um, light coming from a tunnel at the back of this space. Uh. If that makes sense, there is a large tunnel space leading off from here uh, as far as you can uh, can tell going north going north yeah yeah james uh after seeing uh hoder and balder step out of this area mm-hmm. uh zis is just stepping in with her detect magic to see if anything pings okay yep no fair enough uh, at the moment uh no nothing nothing pings at the uh at this particular moment in there it uh, is all quiet so far Okay, so then she just steps back out to see these random goats running by. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> dashing past. Oda is pressed against the wall, clearly very uncomfortable by these random animals that are just here. <laughs> just, uh, just appearing. Yeah, some of them start to disappear off down the tunnels, off to one uh, on one of the other sides. Uh, yeah, it, it becomes a random mishmash of the uh, of these things going on as uh, as this is all happening in the moment. Uh, there appears to be a uh, tunnel leading north through this barn. That is where the light is coming from. I think that is where we are going, so we may as well follow it. And Risa, please let us know if we come in contact with anyone you know. Or anyone you don't know. Yes, yeah, she, she nods uh, as uh, as you guys start to move forward. Uh, so at this point, we're moving off the map for a moment as you guys start to go into uh, strange, stranger-looking tunnels. Uh, there is a green and yellow moss that seems to be growing sparingly in the upper fissures of this space and uh, seems to be more prolific as you start to de- uh, descend down uh, um, several dozen feet into a, a lower t- tunnel that seems to be uh, uh, made of... Uh, every available rock surface if that makes sense there's no sign of building as you're uh, uh as you're going uh, and the air in the space is warming significantly as you're as you're starting to move forward um frida you're up front um you yep. start to hear the the pitiful sound of um like a cat meowing not too far uh too far ahead you have a sound effect on hands. <laughs> uh, no, you just get me. Where's, where's Saren? <laughs> yeah, where's Saren when you need her? Yeah. Okay. Um. I yeah, I'll carry on, but sh- like shield up with axe ready. I'm assuming. I don't know what the formation would be like. I'm assuming Rowder would be behind me. Yeah, I think uh, you, you, you guys would probably be up front as uh, as this is all sort of going on. Um, but, uh, on that front, but uh, yeah, you, so you you do hear the sounds of uh, uh, what sounds like must be must be some sort of a some sort of a cat up ahead. Which way? Uh, sorry, more to the uh, going directly east at the moment. The um, what do you call it? Uh, phosphorescent moss that we passed on the way in mm. is there any sort of alchemic uh usage for it or anything like that or uh possibly uh possibly yeah would you try and um grab some it's it's luminescing uh yeah sure no problem no problem we'll put a put a, a handful of that in your uh, pouch i'll get you the uh, correct information for it a little okay. later on but yes that's absolutely something to Something to work out, but I'm sure there is. Uh, I think a couple Bly of things. probably would have done that as well. I'm yeah, gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna agree between you guys. There's gonna be a little bit of scaven- scavenging on that one, but um, uh, Frida, you're you're the first to sort of spot uh, a little ways up ahead the uh, creature that is making the the sound, and it is this beastie, uh, a strange oh, cat-like creature. Um, uh, up ahead and seems to be. Uh, 
that does not look like a n normal creature at all, so she'll... I still want to pet it. Divine <laughs> sense. Uh, fair enough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You uh, you definitely uh, you define sense, and you don't get anything from it at all, Frida, which is in some ways even more disturbing because you don't get anything either way. Oh, like it doesn't even register. <laughs> okay. Life normally normally does. Um, I can get within thirty feet of it to see if it pings on my uh, magical senses. Right. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Is this is uh, this is going on? Uh, it absolutely does ping as some sort of a magical creature uh, on that front, or a magic magical construct. I would say. Um, as you get closer, Zisa, you can see that it is made from sticks, um, twine, thread. Uh, yeah, very odd mishmash of items it is not a um a real cat in that in that sense it is a constructed thing not a wicker person but something else that's what's going to be my, my next question yeah the wicker ones would always be made of wood uh, but in this case this is made of other things but it's sort of like it's looking at you all it's per uh, it's not purring it's sort of you know making sort of acknowledging you sort of things as it's going Frida will, like, like call the cat, like squat down and go. Yeah, make, cat. Uh, make an animal handling check. Oh God, that's. Uh, I already can tell you, I'm gonna fail this. Blythe, where's Blythe? Yep. Okay. Yep. Uh, it makes its way up to you and starts to sniff at you for a moment. Do you put your hand out to it, or? I don't like this. Yeah. Do it. Okay. Um, it starts to lick your hand. Oh. Does and then, my hand start to be? No, no. <laughs> Taste the flesh. <laughs> I will edit this. And it's the strangest sensation. It's just, yeah, it's made of yarn and, um, and, and wool. It's a very odd texture on the hand, but it feels like life, but it's not normal. It's sort of like. Meh. She'll turn to everyone and go, Okay, I'm a bit out of my depth here. It's, can somebody explain what's happening? Ziza will walk up and squat down and, and study it intently. I want to sort of surround the squat around the cat, please. It matches your gaze, Ziza, in the moment. Sort of looking okay. at you. Yeah, so I'm gonna I'm gonna roll a an Arcana check, um, and I do, can I have advantage because I have to tech magic up or no? Uh, yeah, yeah. Well, but what are you what are you after with it? Yes. <laughs> um, what spell or magic went into the creation of this thing? Mm. Eighteen. Uh, Eighteen. Um. You're not sure of exactly uh, what type of magic this is, but you have it has the telltale signs of something a wizard has constructed. There are little telltales only you as a wizard would pick up that this is something that a yeah that a wizard has magically constructed. So whoever they are and uh, you know wherever they are. The fact that they built this means that they are interesting to you, uh, but also must be quite powerful. Zisa will stand up and say, this is a wizard's work. Advanced. And she'll kind of poof her raven onto her shoulder because it was dismissed for a little while. Say, it could function as a familiar, but of a higher level, we could be being observed by its creator as we speak. Or it could be a facsimile of life. It could be an actual companion that was created. But this is most definitely a high level wizard's work. More capable than I. 
and it's sort of uh, yeah it's it's looking at you uh, uh fairly closely zisa do you uh do you go any too too near it or are you just observing it from a she's uh squatting and studying it um she did stand up to talk to people and kind of do that but then she's <laughs> kind of back down because this is very interesting to mm-hmm. her it goes to sort of nuzzle you a little bit and it's trying to trying to trying to get to lick you in the moment i hold out my hand this might surprise you but uh aziz is not very <laughs> into animals mm-hmm. so um she's kind of almost copying what she saw frida did um holding out her hand letting it kind of do its thing <laughs> sort of sniffs you and starts to lick lick your hand for a, for a few moments the the strange yarn tongue uh just making contact with the skin it's an odd sensation i do not know to what end this construct is here but we should be on our guard um, or maybe than we were before. Does does the wizard have to be close to this creature, or can it just roam freely if, on its own volition? I do not know if it functions as my familiar, then there is a certain distance that it needs to be to be. But if it is a construct, if it is its own the simile of life, it could basically act as a cat would. James, real fast, we mm. don't know what wolves are. Do we know what cats are? Oh yeah, cats are more <laughs> common. Okay. Cats are a common okay, cool. thing. Yeah, Just yeah. making sure. No, that, Didn't want to speak very, out of That's turn. very, very valid. Yeah, wolves are an unusual. Cats, yeah, they've been, they're uh, they're in every uh, in every place you would visit in the in the in the normal. Obviously, not one made of yarn and wool and. If- looking like this, but yes. Blythe was to cast Speak With Animals, would it work? Or was it a construct so it wouldn't work? Mm, well, I, I yeah. I'm, I'm going to say he tried and it didn't work or something along those lines is probably the best way of putting it. It is not, but, uh, it is not a living thing. Hoda's going to squat next to the cat and... He sort of gonna... looks at you again and starts to sniff. Yeah. He's not going to put any hands up. <laughs> um, but uh, he will kind of look at the cat and just... T- t- he 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 wants to see if there's any kind of understanding in his eyes. And he'll say, Is your master nearby? Like, to the cat. <sighs> and uh, it starts to move off this way. We follow? I guess. Uh, Zisa absolutely will follow just because this is a, a an um, arcane curiosity. Fair enough. Oh, God. Oh, no. <laughs> so, yeah, I'll bring I don't want to go around the corner there. I'll, <laughs> I'll bring the rest of <laughs> you around. Yeah, around. You, would have, you would have made it to this point. Um, so, yeah, as you guys uh, oh. uh, will come around the, uh, come around the corner, uh, 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 as you come around the corner, you step into a large rocky cavern. Uh, there is uh, an uncomfortably warm heat coming from the space. Uh, there are obviously a bunch of little tunnels off to one side, etc. But in the middle, there is um, uh, lava that seems to be bobbling and burning just behind where this guy uh, is at the moment. Uh, a man, a bald man, is kneeling before the lava. Uh, his flesh appears to be bubbling from the heat, making it seem as if his many tattoos dance across his skin. He clutches a long ironwood staff in his burning hand. Scorch marks all around him mar the rocky surface, and there are several dead uh, of your clan and Baldur and Hodor, Lutan clan members, literally surrounding him, uh, all burnt and charred as he sort of... uh, Sort of mumbling to himself as you guys come around the corner, and uh, I think I think we need to at least see the uh, see the art in the moment. Once again, let's see if I can uh, bring it up. Uh, one sec. Oh, we have no spells. <laughs> oh no! 
Oh, We're gonna yep. die. Can I, can I show the art one second? Sorry. Let's see. Show token. There we go. So show it to the players. Here we go. So yeah, this is uh, this is how this guy uh, will look as uh, as this is all uh, all going on. But yeah, he's glowing, burning eyes where he uh, he would have once had uh, had sight are uh, seem to uh, seem to be. Uh, very gone, and he seems to be mumbling. Uh, um, so much going on. What's going on? Uh, and he's sort of like, uh, uh, sort of. In, uh, you caught him in the act of sort of picking through these bodies uh, as you guys walk around the around the corner as this is all going on. And uh, yeah, he's sort of, uh, uh, sort of uh, slowly uh, <laughs> and mumbling as he's moving between the bodies. As he sort of looks up at you, uh, looks up at you all at. Uh, and he's trying to... Looks like he's trying to focus on you all as this is all going on. And he's like, What goes there? What goes there? What goes there? We are members of the Volve. We wow. do not mean any harm to you. Uh, I have seen the Volve. They mess with my dreams. They mess with everybody's dreams. Oh, no. <laughs> um. <laughs> oh, bad vault. No. no. <laughs> do, they, uh, do, they, do they mess with your dreams? My dreams are always so strange. So strange. I mean, my dreams are pretty much all about death, but that's that's my own thing. Um. <laughs> the dreams, they... they they destroy my destiny. I don't understand. Why am I here? The volcano is why I'm here. And yeah, he's he's not very coherent as uh, as as this is all going on. But yeah, he's uh, uh, yeah he's he's sort of madly talking, uh, uh, s slightly rambling as uh, as this is all going on. Uh, is what's going on with everyone in here in the moment? How much of this guy's skin is visible, and can I count how many tattoos he has? Um, give me a perception check, Cesar, and see how you do. Ugh. Oof, yeah. I'm, I am amazed by this being, no, I mean, basically. Yeah, yeah I mean, they're, they're, uh, he has tattoos on his head that are very, very obvious as this is all going on, but no, you're not picking up. Uh, other things, or though he is with this staff and in sort of flowy, flowy robes as this is all going on. And uh, I'm assuming not, but does he have any symbolism of a clan? Not that you can see, no, not in the moment as this is going on on the front. Can I came I... here for my destiny, it was my destiny to come here always. Um, always. Can I roll to see if I recognize? I, I don't know if maybe I would have. As a child, seen the wizard that got mm. banished. Mm. No, I'm not. I'm not I, okay. I can't. You, like I said, it was real high roll for knowing that yeah, little yeah. bit of knowledge, maybe from your parents. Okay. But no, actually, yeah. having seen him uh, on that front, it okay. was also our destiny to come here. You were to awaken it as well. Oh, to awaken the volcano. Uh, yes, like me. Were you? Mm. Were you? Did they send okay. you? Did they send you? Who, who sent you? I'm just checking that we've got the same contacts. <laughs> I dream of them sometimes. The ones in wooden armor. His face, burning eyes. And the flowing robes of them. It's my destiny, you see? I had to come here. I had to make it happen. I had to make the wake in the volcano. Don't you see? And then it escaped from me. All that other things. The creatures below. The, what's it's the, my what's destiny. The I've awoken something down here. From the lava. Smaller things, yes. But something bigger has gotten past as well. Maybe that's what I was here for. Tell me, was that what I was here for? 
I know I was to awaken the volcano, but was it for that too? Zisa steps forward and in a very placating, very um, soft voice is going to say, your work is done. You've done so well. Now all you need to do is rest. I've done so much. You have. I've done You've everything worked so asked for. hard. You sure have. Maybe it is my time to rest. Maybe it's time to lay yourself down, lay down your staff, lay down your self. Make a persuasion check. Can I make a deception check? Because I'm lying. Oh yeah, sir. you are lying through your you are lying Thank through you. your teeth. You can make a, you can make a deception. Yeah. I'm trained in deception. Okay. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Nineteen. Okay, fair enough. Uh, as this is all going on, um, as you uh, as as you're uh, you're going for that, you're you're like you're feeling like you're you're getting through to him, and he's like, yes, maybe it is time to just to. Relax and, uh, and then he seems to stop in the moment, Zisa, as he's catching sight of you properly in the moments. And it dawns on you in the second that you almost were getting through to him. The DC was 20. Damn uh, it. But, uh, he, oh. he, he looks at you and he said, No. Trickster, you're trying to steal from me, and then he starts to get bigger as as uh, in the moments he starts to be casting, and uh, you see as he sort of becomes like the shadows behind him, the flame and the heat start to rise as a shadow pulling back from him. There seems to be uh, a large fiery thing like coming out of his shadow. Now! As, yeah, we will uh, reconvene at this point next time as we will deal oh. with... Uh, uh -oh. we, we will deal with, uh, uh -oh. we'll deal with that. Oh, no, he popped as, up. Uh, as this is what? all going to go down. But uh, I, did a, I made a decision, gang. I did a thing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. no. Yeah. Anyone else done it? It would have been a 15. Uh, there's reasons why you're a, you're a decent player. Oh, credit. damn it. <laughs> uh on that one um but yeah well done Woof. okay so yeah that's gonna be a that's gonna be a big start for uh for next session but uh well done everyone well done i'll yeah. uh yeah You're not well done enough because look what i did <laughs> oh well you befriended the cat so it can't be all bad i, mean, I have an important <laughs> question go ahead can, yeah can, can we keep the cat we, yes well <laughs> only only time will tell you got to deal with uh possibly oh. it's master first well, but, all right, then I will end it there, yeah. I think, for now. Just blame Jamie. He's not here. This is great.